Now at feralaudio.com slash shop. Three new Feral Audio t-shirts are available for a limited time in over a dozen styles and colors. Men's, women's, tank tops, hoodies, stickers, and more, including an original design Monarch by Julia Hagelin seen on our historic Comic-Con 2016 Hall H panel. Check them out at feralaudio.com slash shop. Hey, nerds, it's your old friend Steve Agee, host of the Steve Agee uh, podcast here on Feral Audio. I'm back this week with a brand new episode and a guest, the very funny comedian Paul F. Tompkins. Perhaps you know him from Mr. Show. Maybe you know him from his great podcast, Spontaneous Nation. Or maybe you just know him as the guy you've seen around town with a mustache and a suit. Either way, he's funny and you should listen. Okay, that's settled. Bye. Hello, America, all the countries and all the ships at sea. It's Jeff Davis from Harmontown, here to interrupt our show to talk about NatureBox.com. It's snacks, but healthy snacks, delicious healthy snacks. They got all kinds of cool shit. They send you stuff to your house. You order as much as you want. You eat as much as you want. Go to NatureBox.com slash Harmontown, and because you're a Harmontown fan and don't know what to do with your life, you get 50% off your first order. That's NatureBox.com slash Harmontown. Snack it up, motherfuckers! Feral Audio Ladies and gentlemen Oh You know what time it is Oh shit Give me an odd shit Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, man. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm supposed to bring up Spencer first. After you. Before me. Somebody said, somebody told me that I was supposed to say, welcome the mayor of Harmontown. Davis says, make mayor of Harmontown first. Uh, Let's bring up Spencer, the dungeon master guy. Spencer's gonna. S- Spencer's gonna sit in front of a table for absolutely no reason. Well, what if I have to, you know, uh, like, uh? Dude, you you need to, another bottle, and you could do the shell game. There you go. I mean, what you know, what makes sense about Paul Schaefer's relationship with you know, like, why is he in the band? But he, he taught you know, it's like these things evolve organically. One of these days, I'm gonna flip this table, and everyone will get it. <laughs> and you'll be wearing pants. <laughs> that, That'd be just wearing you, like black slacks. Yeah. If you walked out in shorts, but then flipped the table, <laughs> and you're wearing pants. And then I start tap dancing. Hey, what'd you do this weekend, Spencer? Oh. Oh boy, let me tell you, I was at South by Southwest promoting oh Harmon Quest on CISO. That's crazy. So it's SW times SW? Well, no, it's S times SW. Right. Right. What did I say? I don't know. Not that, though. Okay. All right. Rob, you had to, you, you had to give a stool sample recently. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were explaining backstage. I didn't give the stool sample. You haven't done it yet. I haven't done it yet. But the, they told you take a poop. Yeah. I was at the doctor and, and she said, okay, we're going to have to take a, we're going to get a stool sample. And I was like, all right, well, it's the afternoon. I'll see what I can do. Because <laughs> you know me. Right. I'm an I'm early morning kind of a guy. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and she says, okay, well, here, we'll give you the kit, and hands me a box, 
And I was like, excuse me, um, Kit, what? And she says, yeah, you just, you know, follow the instructions that they take it to FedEx. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, is FedEx okay with this? <laughs> But they just give you a box. They give you a box. Does and the box in the have box, a jar in it? Or bo- no, no. It's got glove? like two like medicine, you know, like, you know, orange little pill bottle things. And it, it, it and like a little long cotton swab thing, which I guess you're supposed to like hockey puck it into the... <laughs> what? But then they said... They, what's, they, what's the cotton for? <laughs> like, what's... No, no, it's a hockey puck. Thing. Right, but it's not. But it's cotton? not. There's no cotton. You said there's a cotton swab. Cotton swab. Yeah, I guess. You but know, without the cotton. Well, if it didn't have, if it without the cotton, it'd just be a stick, and that's. <laughs> that's Isn't that what you should use that, to knock a turd into a bottle? <laughs> it, that would be really unsanitary. <laughs> but if they're, they're gonna find cotton in your feces and say you're part sheep for. <laughs> I think I think that's part of the the process. I think they got it figured out. They, did you but eat, they said did you I'm eat a pair of jeans, sir? <laughs> I did not. I'm supposed to mail it to Texas. <laughs> where what? where everything's bigger. Right. Uh, so you, that's Microsoft. why that's why it's two two pill bottles. Right, right. right. I, 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 so, okay, so so okay, so and then so the, the and then, and box then the, includes two bottles. And an instruction and it, and it says, and it comes with a big piece of like paper and the instruction says well, I don't know what the terminology is, but it says please defecate on the paper. And then provide the stool samples in the pill bottles. And it says, and it provides you with the paper. Does it? And it and which it, is a little weird. And the paper has a target like, on it? No, it doesn't. It has a fly on it, like, you know, in the <laughs> like urinal. does urinals, yeah. Yeah. Girls, there's, in urinals, there's like a little fly. In the funnier urinals, they, they, yeah. it's like a little You're fly sticker to, in the... You're supposed to pee on the fly. Yeah. And yeah, you, you get a... I don't really get that. You know what I do get and love? A urinal filled with ice. Oh, man. When you're, when, when you're lucky enough to like catch a urinal, to, to, when they've, like, they've like, just dumped a bunch of ice into yeah, it. Yeah, you feel like you got heat vision coming yeah. out of your dick. <laughs> yeah, you feel like a mutant superhero. Yeah, yeah. Mel- mel- I'll take care of this. Melting glaciers. <laughs> Stand back, Wonder Woman. Yeah. This is a job for a slightly above room temperature pee. <laughs> And there's like steam coming off it. It's yeah, cold. no, you feel like a man finally. <laughs> speaking of, speaking of poop, I took a Brigadoon poop. Uh, I'll explain what that means. I, I was at Rick and Morty, and I uh, I got I was in a, a edit session. I got up from the edit bay t- to take a poop. I uh, I said I'm gonna go take a poop, and I went to the bathroom, and I took a poop, <laughs> and it was long, uh, you know. I did some tweets. Long in time? Or? Yeah, long. No, yes. <laughs> um, I finished, and then I like, I, wa- I, wa- I, wa- I walked into the writer's room, and I, 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 and I looked at one of the writers, uh, Erica, and I said, I, 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 and she was, she, she, I, because, I, because the boss just walked into the room, she's just like looking at me kind of expectantly, and, I, and I, after a while I go, I know, it was a long poop. <laughs> she didn't know what the hell I was talking about. <laughs> Because I had taken a Brigadoon poop, I had lost p- time in the. Uh, I've never seen Brigadoon, but but. <laughs> what are you? T- what? I don't know the reference. Well, Brigadoon. I forgot where I was when I, the, I finished taking the poop. I forgot where I had been before I started pooping, <laughs> and just walked into a, a new room, thinking that that's where I was, and started talking to them about my poop as if I as if I was bookending a conversation about my shit, and, and they're just like, okay, because they're paid to just just listen, <laughs> and, 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 and I was like, and then and then. I was like, so where were we? And they were like, I, you were about to go into an edit session. And I was like, oh, oh. And then I went into the edit room and I was like, so it was a long poop. And they're like, yeah, it really was. And I said, well, here's why. Uh, is I, is the, is it was, dementia? I, no, I, no, no. They just linked Prilosec to dementia. Is Brick Brick Brigadoon is was it, did he have an edit session? <laughs> Brigadoon was a town. Where you go and then you, you you're like they're like oh these people are so cool, and then 
And then, like, when you leave, you're older, or they leave, like, the town only appears, like, on full moons at midnight or something, or, like, but if you're, if you're not out of the town, then you have to stay in it forever, because it, it, it's like... Which a, episode was this? Uh, <laughs> It's 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 like a it's like some weird teleportation town where there's something to do with the, like like old, old old people or something. Oh, okay. We'll all right. Up, we'll bring up a Brigadoon expert. Uh, uh, all right. Look. Yes. Let's get on with it. There's only so many things here that I could talk about that w- w- it would be more fun with our guest. Yes. You you uh what what you, hey why don't you give me some give me some business like irritate me. Oh Dan. <laughs> Um, you never hang out with me, and I miss you, and I wish, wish we were closer Rob, friends. knock it the fuck off. Uh, I swear to God, Rob. Put your, put your glasses on. Okay. Rob, knock it the fuck off. I'm warning you, Rob. I will fucking replace you. You can be replaced. I can't be replaced. I'm the only Rob friend you have. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rob Cordry. I'm another bald Rob. Oh, let me wait. Stay there. Let me get a. This is made for social media. Why is it square? I don't want it to be square. Okay. Ah, fun, fun. A lot of bald. I'm like Ellen. I'm, I'm doing Instagrams on the show. Uh, uh, I think if you're here... It's better for picture if you sit closer to Dan. Thank you. <laughs> Which Help is what I hear too. every week. Uh, I'm glad you got the memo about the plaid shirt. Yeah, yeah. And the ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. Just so we could get that whole tablecloth thing going on. <laughs> it's it's Platmageddon. Yeah. We look Plat stupid. Platmageddon. <laughs> I think we look hot. I'm just wearing this to cover the fact that I'm wearing an inside-out shirt right now. You texted us today after you got after home. After we got off the flight and got home from the flight, after we had been together all the time in the airport... You were like, I was like, hey, did any of you notice that my shirt was inside out the whole day? And no, you didn't. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't a crowd to notice that. No, no. Yeah, yeah. 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 We were are looking you, at the are floor. You, is your shirt inside out, or is it... It's it's like an inside out like movie t shirt <laughs> with the inside out look <laughs> because either way you're ashamed of it. Yeah, well Dan lost an Oscar to Inside Out, so I, I could see why he would you would care. be covering up that. So yes or no? What? No. Uh, you know what I won when I lost that Oscar? An Integri. <laughs> It's, it's, it's an award I gave myself. <laughs> the Integris. Yeah, Oscars are for sellouts. And you know, 18% of all Integri nominees are black. <laughs> Pretty cool. It's reflective of uh, the proportion of the, 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 the population. Uh, I haven't run those numbers, but yeah, probably. <laughs> Just sounds saying, right. it's a fair award. It sounds right, and it's a good one, and it's, one, it's one that counts. Yes. Uh, uh, all right. So, thank you for coming, Rob. It was very, very flattering. The uh, because you said you you well, you're working in Miami because you're you're on Ballers. <laughs> yeah, Ballers. Oh, oh really? Ball. <laughs> Did not expect a big Ballers crowd here tonight. <laughs> What what how does how does that schedule throughout the year work? Children's Hospital is still happening. When do you when are you shooting that and when are you bawling? I'm like uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, I shoot uh, Children's Hospital. Well, I yeah. shot. We just ended the show. I I shoot it in the summer, and then Ballers happens around. Uh, Halloween. I leave on about Halloween. I'm so back you did in it like a February f- finale episode. It's done. For no, real? we didn't. Yeah, it's done. But Wait, Children's we, Hospital. We, or Bones? Yeah, no, oh. Children's Hospital. Oh. We we decided to end it, um, not knowing that this season was going to be the last when we shot it, and um, but the season is so good, and <laughs> for a lot of reasons, I I wanted to sort of move on and do other things, but. 
the is finale. Really, is it re- really? The, 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 like, was it the best season? Or I, 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 and, and well, I say that every season. I, you know, I, like, I'm just fine. I like, like I re- I'm like, because I would never have that in me. If I was like, yeah. the, 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 this is the best season, I'd be like, well, then I don't know about we gotta best keep doing season. It till... I don't know about best season, but this was what, like, I would be proud to go out on this. How many season. seasons? How many seasons? Seven. Seven. Dan, yeah. how many was your show? <laughs> Which one? I have like nine of them. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, either either one of them. <laughs> <laughs> either one of the nine. <laughs> yeah. Either one. Uh, I, Community went to uh, season six, as you know. Yeah. Uh, that was the season that you were the in-house director on, and uh, then we got canceled. Ooh. Whoops! Whoops! <laughs> I <laughs> wonder <laughs> what happened there. <laughs> uh, Rick and Morty's on its third season. We're writing about we're about the, on the fourth episode of that, and uh, you know, and I'm doing a Great Minds on History. I shoot that every weekend, and uh, I think the Jason Sudeikis episode was just up. You want to do that? You want to do that? You want to be a historical figure? It'd be weird for you to say no. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> You're like, give me the pit. Give me the elevator pitch. <laughs> you come through. Uh, you pick a historical figure, whatever you want. No, nah, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're coming. The, in the conceit of the show is that Spencer has created a uh, a version of time travel to bring historical figures back. It's like data fracking, like where you you reach back and you grab the biological data from a historical figure and then you shoot it into a these pucks of Chinese lard and stem cells, uh, sub stem, sub stem cells. Um, this is the uh, the crawl. This yeah, is the <laughs> that's just how. It, this is just me acroiding for a second about, <laughs> okay. about, about, right. about our technology, and then so you come through as a naked, uh, confused historical figure. Um, not realizing that you're going to disintegrate in six hours, and then we provide you with wardrobe based on who you are, and then we do an episode. I don't understand a word of what you just said, but I will do it. Yes. <laughs> I'll do anything. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I was listen- I was in Miami, li- the- I think yeah. what you were getting to. Oh, yeah. I was listening to Harmontown the whole time because I'm there, I shoot... I'm the oldest person in the cast. Um, so the Rock is like the Rock. 23. I think I got like three years on the Rock. <laughs> really? He's like, yeah. I, I, and everybody else is. Then there's a huge dip in the age. Uh, and so, and Miami is just not my. Uh, it's not really my scene. There's <laughs> not a lot for me there. I, I, I mean, everyone in Miami when we went there to do the show, like all of our fans are. I won't say they're the same from city to city. All of our fans are snowflakes, but they're all, <laughs> they are also. It's like a, 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 a Miami Harmenian is a is 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 essentially going to be perfectly compatible with a Los Angeles Harmenian. Um, therefore, all of the Miami people that came to that show, where the guy got punched in the face by yeah. his friend. <laughs> In what was either an Andy Kaufman esque, uh, uh, no, he never explained it. I, I, I mean, I think he did on Reddit, and I think it just—I yeah. think we sort of sussed out or got the general intuition that these guys are just kind of—they they just punch each other. They just sort of like Beavis and Butthead, and like 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 <laughs> like Beavis is a little more on the ball, and Butthead was off his meds, and like <laughs> like like it, it wasn't it wasn't a totally non consensual uh, punch. punch. <laughs> yeah, it was like sort of. This like, is their bit. This you is got what we do. Into their... How old? were these people? Uh, I don't 19. know. Everyone's 25 to me. Right, right, right. <laughs> oh, they were young. I, I'm, for I'm some assuming reason, I they, they were not, older. Yeah. I don't know why. God, if they were older, I'd be into it. Like, I, you know? If they, <laughs> right, if they were like our age and like a Because we age. understand mortality. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. The legal system. Well, it would be like, <laughs> it'd be, uh, yeah, and like, like how valuable a tooth is when it gets knocked out, how yeah, expensive right, right, it is right. to fix. Oh, and, and like, 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 yeah. So it'd yeah. be like Fight Club. It'd be like Ed Norton coming up and then yeah. Brad Pitt running up yeah. and punching him. It'd be We're like, that's cool. We're bottom it the whole time. <laughs> but no, when they're twenty five, it's like you guys are doing this because you're There's dumb. so much face punching yeah. when you're twenty five. <laughs> 
I, um, I uh, so so my yeah my but that is to say so everybody in Miami at the Miami show was like Miami sucks we're so sorry Miami sucks we're so sorry and I was like I know, Miami that. doesn't suck you're great but now that we're safely back in LA Miami sucks no it sucks <laughs> it sucks it totally sucks like it's a swamp yeah. it's a swamp full of yeah. I, I mean it's they, 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 it's a cultural and those guys specifically have to get out. They no, yeah, get out of there. yeah. If you're listening to this and you're in Miami, yeah, yeah move, like, man. Like, yeah, yeah, no, no. If you, you like, you're, you're not going to get a golden invitation because yeah. no one wants no. Florida people coming. No, uh, no, 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 anywhere. But you're, if you're listening yeah. to this, you're no, you're you dying there. Out. You're get, dying. Get a car and, and, and go. Yeah, just yeah, leave, man. Go. No, you don't need. You don't need anything. Buy a ticket to nowhere, man. Right. <laughs> All you can do is go up. <laughs> Living in Miami is the demographic equivalent of smoking a pack a day. You're just <laughs> you're just inviting statistical entropy. Like every every breath you take in that city, yeah, is, it brings you closer to the uh, your inevitable demise. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Levy was shit talking it because he went to school there, uh, and, and 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 so he, and he was like, ah, "Miami sucks." I was like, "Why don't you take it easy?" But and then the kid got punched by another kid, who's his friend, and there was no security at the show, and the, you know, yeah, Miami's. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's I would tough. Be, I would be really, really. You said that because you said you've done it with uh, Pete Holmes podcast, Duncan Trussell's podcast, yeah. and you're very, the we're first very, season I did it with like I just I went home after working and uh, I. And I'm not kidding. This sounds like an exaggeration, but I would sit in my underwear at my kitchen table doing jigsaw puzzles, drinking, and listening to podcasts. Right. <laughs> and last year it was uh, Pete Holmes and Duncan Trussell. But fuck those guys. I, uh, <laughs> so spiritual. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. And this year it was uh, Harmontown. And yeah. so these were the, like, because I needed... I didn't talk to anybody outside of work. It was just, I was just alone, losing my identity. And I would just, uh, I needed voices. I, I needed... It's such a miracle that you're not a coke addict at this point. Like, because that's what, that's how no, it happens. It, it was like, 10 like, years you're, ago you're, I'd be a full-on coke addict. I feel, like I, I feel like if I was 43 and I was oh. in that situation, I'd be like, well, I, yeah. my hands are tied. Gotta yeah. be a coke addict. Yeah. <laughs> This is what I'm doing for a while. I'm in Miami, and I have I, I yeah. don't like jigsaw puzzles. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but 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 yeah, you said you're listening to ours backwards. So I was listening to them back. Yeah, from uh, like 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 backward. Like you. I was listening to them backwards. Yeah. And I suggest you all listen to them backwards. <laughs> yeah. Because. There's a lot of messages. Yeah. You think this is all like non-scripted, but he plans this whole thing. And there's, there a lot, is, there's a lot. There's of, a message. Yeah. There's a lot of hidden conspiracy stuff. Yeah. When we're talking about 9/11, if you play it backwards, oh. we're actually talking about 9/11. Yeah. Uh, like, like it's think a big, about it. Uh, this, this this podcast is crawling with 9/11. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, and he said listening to it backwards, and then you're like, uh, yeah, that's, it's 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 weird. I mean, the the, the role playing games. I mean, obviously those. Well, actually, I, yeah, I guess those make just as much sense. Backwards. But it's great. <laughs> yeah, they make just as much sense backwards. That's the thing. But I was like, uh, after I got to, uh, I got a couple years down, and no, I was really like binging, <laughs> binging this. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Well, I got a wow. <laughs> oh wow! Like respect, <laughs> respect. Uh, I was binge and I got a couple down, and I then I started skipping back. Oh, okay. you know, I'd skip back ten, and I'd save some, and and uh, and then um, and then all of a sudden we were because I started in Shadowrun, and then all of a sudden I was in D and D where it all started. Uh, then I skipped way back to Spencer's first episode. Uh -oh. That was awesome. That was awesome because. He was like, <laughs> I called him, I, it's not even that, it doesn't make much sense, but I'd tell my, my wife is like, she called me and she'd be like, what are you doing? And I was like, uh, doing jiggies and listening to my friends. <laughs> but you are my friend and you're my friend, but Spencer, I considered one of my friends. Aww. He was just like one of my buddies. That's awesome. Jeff, one of my but one of my good <laughs> friends, like the voices filling the room. Yeah, yeah. And then I... I saw that it was like an origin story. It was like reading the origin story after getting into the comic book. <laughs> yeah, I, I, the, 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 the part of the yeah the podcast phenomenon. It's a lot like I've always compared it to when I would come home from school back when 
basic cable was first was was the internet basically in terms of media um the my mom got addicted to home shopping networks uh it's pretty good and and and, <laughs> and i would come home from school and my mom would be at like a sewing machine or or, or cooking i look it wasn't it, it was a, it was a simpler time yeah <laughs> she, she 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 voluntarily uh waived her agency uh <laughs> Uh, that's what we did back then in the suburbs. I I uh, waive my agency. Uh, I, I, do you do you promise to fail the Bechdel test with this man forever? I do. Um, the the. The, 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 there's a thing called the Bechdel test. Schraub's parents are here. I keep yes, thinking, keep like, oh, what, how are they? I didn't know what that was either, though. Uh, so I'm with you guys. Well, don't make me explain it. It'll take 20 minutes. No, I'll get okay. it wrong. <laughs> but I was just pretending. I was cool like, pretending I knew what it was. Is that like a Brigadoon <laughs> situation? <laughs> no? Um, yeah, can we talk about poop again? Because that's like yeah. right in my wheelhouse. Right. <laughs> Um, wait, wait, where was I? I... Something important. <laughs> you were explaining... Oh, I was just like, yeah. yeah, it was just personality addiction. Like, I would come home from school, and my mom would, would be explaining to me what happened on the home shopping network. <laughs> Here's some things that never happened. She never bought anything. Like, she wasn't, she wasn't, like, getting roped into some, like, compulsive consumption thing. She just couldn't, you know, she couldn't let it go that these people were on TV all the time and that there was no script and that they were, they were you know, honking for people that were calling in and then the same people would call in and go, I bought this bracelet, too, and honk, honk. Um, <laughs> and it was like, it doesn't, it, 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 I remember, you know, I marked that because when Aaron McGathy my lovely ex-wife and, and who introduced me to the podcast culture and Dustin Marshall and Duncan Trussell um, that like, she was explaining how she when she first met Duncan Trussell she she felt like she made kind of a social blunder because she forgot until halfway through their encounter that she didn't know him um, and, and and that she might have been transgressing boundaries or something I had that because, experience with Duncan I don't I've never met Duncan Trussell and I saw him in a parking lot and I was like, there's my buddy, there's my good buddy Duncan. <laughs> and I almost, and I was, and I could have just gone up and said hello and introduced myself, but I didn't because uh, I felt like a weirdo. Yeah, well, uh, you're, you, you dodged a bullet because he's a notorious dick. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that whole character he does on the podcast, really? yeah. it's, all, it's a character. I kinda, that's why I abandoned it. I kind of thought uh, so. He's, he's out like yeah. um, right now. He's running reruns of his podcast because he's at, with a, an impersonator. Yeah. Um, his brother does an impression of him to, 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 on his podcast. He's out uh, raising money for Trump. Yeah. <laughs> That's not true. He That's not true. Don't he... say that. <laughs> Why would you say that? You say You crossed the line. You're saying mean things about somebody who's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he doing that? He is really like Duncan Trust is kind of unassailable. Yeah, For sure, you're an asshole. Well, man. yeah, can cancer tried to assail him, and he like, sure like invited us into the process. Took one of his testicles. His mom, his, his, he lost his mom, you know, and, and, and invited us, uh, invited yeah. us Rob, into that process. Yeah, you're, go ahead. you're a comic book fan, yeah. What do you think of this Underoos line in this Avengers trailer? Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, I'm just that's anticipation. That's all that well, is. Wait, wait, wait. You Explain, know the Avengers, know the Avengers trailer, the the Civil War trailer. Yeah, Have you seen yeah. the new one that came? But out? I don't know about Underoos. Well, in it. Spider Man is in the the latest trailer. Have you seen? Oh this? no, I haven't seen the latest trailer. Okay, well, for, uh, let me. Explain. But you can me, bet I'm gonna watch the shit out of it. Watch in Uber it, okay. on the way home. So, <laughs> so everybody, so uh, all the Avengers are there. There's Iron yeah. Man. There's you got your uh, Black Widow. Yeah. You got your uh, Scarlett Johansson. You got go the, ahead. You got the <laughs> you got the black. You got the whole gang. The black. <laughs> you got the, uh, the, the uh, hawk. You got you got Hawkeye. All the hawks. Silver wings. Hawks. You got yep. Walter Lance. Yep. You got all of them. Walter Lance. <laughs> you got everybody there. Walter Lance is an adventure. He he has the power to show you how to draw Woody Woodpecker. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but then you know they're all gonna they're all gonna clash and then you know they face off and then uh, Robert Downey Jr. goes under ruse and a spider web comes out and grabs Captain America's shield and and pulls it out of his hand and then they cut to Spider Man holding the shield and everybody's supposed to go uh, oh fuck mic yeah. drop it's a big <laughs> mic drop yeah <laughs> but I go. 
underoos. He says yeah. underoos. I go. So Wait, he just says the word. He underoos? said underoos. Yeah, it's like a nickname for yeah. Spider Man. He's but calling means, Spider Man. Oh, but, but that oh. means he's like, yo, underoos. Hey, that's yeah. a stretch. You know what? But, that doesn't make me think the movie's going to be that good because, because that's the moment. <laughs> because does that mean that Spider Man has merchandising in the Marvel Cinematic Universe <laughs> since the oh. 70s? Oh. So that means he's 10 years older than I am. But wait, why? Okay, who's calling him under ruse? Robert Downey Jr. Listen okay, to the trailer. So, well, I, I, so, so, he, so he, that's his nickname for Spider Man. Yeah. Right, Spider Man. Who he's met. He's as hanging out Tony with Stark, until and he's chosen to call him Underoos. Underoos. Yep. I got so so. Let's. I just want to run wow. down all the Avengers that we've met in the cinematic universe. And, Go ahead and run that through the check of like, boy, you got your why he wouldn't have used that you as got a nickname your Captain for America. Chumba Wamba. <laughs> um, <laughs> You got uh, Robert Loja. Right, right, right. Uh, Bi- Bible Belt. Dracula. Uh, <laughs> Dra- Dracula. 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 Yep. Uh, yep. yep. Uh, Pile you got driver. Cold Front. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> salad Tosser. Yeah. <laughs> Icebreaker. Uh, crouton, unrelated to so Salad Tosser. So many. <laughs> Thousand Island. So uh, many beloved like, 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 like There's a whole... Thousand I mean, Island. That was actually my favorite Avengers offshoot was just right. the, the salad days, is what they called it. Uh, it's just about the... It was a crouton, uh, salad tosser, Thousand Island. And then they started forcing it. It was like napkin and fork. And yeah, like, yeah. But, but it was, it was, it was cool fork. because it was cheeky. It was like... It, it yeah. had less supervision over yeah. that, that franchise. And it was so, like Howard the Duck. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. They kind of broke fun. the fourth wall a lot. Mm. By the way, I I saw Deadpool and I really enjoyed it. I love. I saw it twice. I There's twice. only one, the one I, I, where I just had to like go. Okay, just forget that and then, then keep enjoying. What the movie. was it? It was the it was the moment when they did the CG thing and then and 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 then like in the middle of it he has a line he can do any line it doesn't matter all it has to be is lateral that's it and it, and he said. To my memory, maybe I'm wrong about this, but I've been right more often on the show than, than every, everyone on the show Check and the, the audience. Check the records. Uh, uh, the, the, he says, did I leave the stove on? Yeah, that's a bummer. And not only, not only first of all, it's did I leave the oven on. Yeah. Second of all, the fact that I know it's something means it's hack. Like, like, yeah. Like, like, wait, wait, it, 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 but it's, you don't leave the stove on. The stove has fire coming out of it. Uh, yeah. The oven is something you can leave on. And it's on an accident. airplane joke. It's either, uh, yeah. It's, it's, did it's, I leave the iron? Did I leave the iron yeah, on? Yes, is exactly. that an yes, it was joke? an airplane. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a book. It's a placeholder for yeah. like, he could have said anything. That was a placeholder And it was such a funny movie. Replace. Like, 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 the, yeah. the, the, like I, I, laugh, I laughed out loud and couldn't stop laughing. And the, 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 the I'm not, good, no spoilers, but like, like, like Ryan Reynolds' character, uh, I'm avoiding spoilers by p- choosing my words carefully. Like, like what, he's in a he's in a scene where he's still he's still Ryan Reynolds, uh, and he's with uh, his girlfriend, and he. But he's he's goes like, oh, I had this, I had a Liam Neeson nightmare. Uh, you know, I, I kidnapped his daughter, and he just wasn't having it. And, <laughs> but but, but the, and that's funny. I chuckled, and then he, yeah. but then he crawled into bed, and it was like during the scene that's very intense, and, he, and, 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 and the, the execution of it was he goes. He crawls into bed and he holds her, and there's something in the air in the scene that's just like it's worthy of you know. You're like, yes, well, it's yes. a, and he goes, "Hey, like, you know, they made like three of those movies." And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> After a while, you just start thinking, "Is this guy a bad parent?" Or, I mean, it was a, it was a, it was just really funny. Like it was yeah. it was played straight up the middle, and yeah, I, I, yeah that, that the whole movie's filled with that stuff in a, in a world where like. And I walked out of there thinking, well, I'd never. Uh, now I get it why so many Harmontown fans or people on Reddit and stuff they uh, like Deadpool and kind of they're like you must be a big Deadpool fan. And I would chiefly because of that, I'd be like, well, I can put a pin in that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I just see, you know, I, I never knew what that meant. He, he was the meta superhero and stuff. But I love the right. I, like what I saw based on the movie. I'm like, oh, I get it. That's why people would think that. And I yeah. agree. I do. I do, do you guys think too? And you're you guys like comic books, right? Like you. Sure. Do you think that movie I I was suspicious. I I wasn't sure that they were going to be able to do what that comic does in the movie because he's meta in a specific in a, way. Yeah, very like only Deadpool way and yeah. and it's hard to do bad or it's easy to do bad meta. Like yeah. it's very easy yeah. to fall into that trap. You can't yeah, just Dan, break the fourth I don't know wall. what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what he means? 
<laughs> like just lazy fourth wall breaking. Yeah. Uh, but it was really good. It was like really in the somehow I don't I don't know why why or what, but it was in the spirit of the the comic. Under room. Under room. The third the third act. This is a, a tough thing with these comic book movies. Like I, I honestly I, I you know like I thought it was great. You know. I don't know. I could have done without the fucking other the the, the other mutants like that I've never heard of because that's those are the ones that get compared. They made a joke about yeah, it, like, yeah. like how these are like low rent Marvel characters that they're yeah. letting them use. But also, just the whole third act was like kind of like it was it, it wasn't it wasn't worthy of the cleverness of that. whole I thought thing. it was like Sony taking possession of that character, like fully. Like also, he's going to be in X Men movies. Right. So fuck you, Disney. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, what what? Anyways, we, we did Wolverine like hang out? What? What's Wolverine? Is he talks about it. him a couple times. You haven't seen the movie? No. Come on, I think man. You, I think you'd like Shrub. it. That's, that's well, because remember, you, you know what? The second I saw it, I was like, you know who'd really like this? Rob Shrub. No, you didn't say that. I did. You did. I said to ah. my wife, "Never met you." I said, "You know who really liked this?" And she said, "Who?" And I paused for a minute. And then right at the right time, I said, Rob Schraub. And she went, yeah, that makes sense. So, I don't know. I should, I should, I should go see it. Yeah. Can you tell, all right, well, obviously the answer is not if they're good ones, but can you tell us any rock stories? Mm, well, what do you mean? Like, uh, I just mean like, well, here's the thing. Like, like, like I keep, I've always heard... The Rocks is really he's really really awesome like like, yeah. like 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 guy and I'm like if that's true that's worth talking about yeah. but if it's not true that's the it's only thing true. you can say anyway it's very true so like that's why a lot of people ask me that and they're like so uh, what's the what's the rock yeah, what's like the and what they mean is tell us about the what's he picks? really like because we all like him right even people that hate everything like him right like schwarzenegger so like, 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 yeah. like like schwarzenegger at his age yeah. like, 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 like the most cynical comic uh still like tweets uh, paul f Tompkins the other day not that he's the most cynical comic uh but he was like love the rock i love him i love him he just tweeted that he did. It was like a couple of years ago, but I, I but took he, it. But you know, you know about you know about Paul's problem. He wasn't talking about the actor. Oh, oh, oh! oh he thought oh. he was. He thought Why he was texting. Why are you doing that? That's Why really that? insensitive. That's really insensitive. Yeah, Paul's a good friend of ours. I think, it's, really I think it's extra sensitive. Our friend needs help, and what are you doing about it? <laughs> you're, you're like, you're, I you're, uh, whatever tweet. pays what the rent, keep, 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 keep smoking that gl that glass, oh, the pipe, shit. PFT. <laughs> Keep that chimney billowing oh, money. He looks like a crackhead, doesn't he? <laughs> he looks, looks like, like one, a... acts like one. Yes, is everything, one. it all adds up. I don't think you do, Paul. Come on. I think you're beautiful. <laughs> beautiful human being. Boy, you're really playing it safe tonight. I you? know, I wonder why. <laughs> you know what the F in Paul F. Tompkins stands for? <laughs> Fucking crack. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a straight up fact. Or and, 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 and PFT, if you're listening, show us the birth certificate. Yeah. If I'm wrong, yeah. I want yours to, to prove. If he doesn't respond to this, I'm right. Balls in your court, Tompkins. <laughs> if that's even your real name. So you're a Boston guy, right? Yeah. Like, like, what, how old were you when you went from Boston to Los Angeles or New York? Oh, I moved. I, well, I went to college from Boston at UMass Amherst. Uh, which is just far enough away from Boston. Um, and uh, I was there till 90, I graduated in like 94, and then I moved to New York. I was in New York for 12 or 13 years, and then I moved here eight years ago. Graduated And college. if you do that math, <laughs> it'll mostly add up, like <laughs> give or take one or two years. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I always get, I, I like, I like Boston, like the Boston's another place like Miami, where people from Boston that are 
that Strange. got out of Boston will warn you about Boston. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I was terrified. I think out of all the Harmontown tour shows, I was the most terrified to go to Somerville. Somerville. Um, Dude, Somerville's Because I was really, because people, people really laid it on thick. They were like, this is the blue collar working class. And it's it like, like, like going. Somerville's the like, Silver Lake of Boston. Like <laughs> yeah, and I was, I went in terrified, but I had the time of my life. And I, I, yeah. I, I every, every, every person from Boston that I've ever met, like, 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 you know, yeah. Uh, like, like, I, I don't know. I think Boston I, has a great like um, <laughs> mute ghost. What's above this place? Uh, just like a, a family of ghosts. Addict. Is this place haunted? <laughs> it's just it's Professor Meltdown's uh, love, <laughs> gotta, gotta, gotta. love chamber. Sorry. Uh, there, there's a great music scene in Boston, and a great um, there's a lot of college kids. So it is a cool, like for lack of a better term, that like there's a lot of nerds that there's not just townies getting out of a Bruins game ready to punch you in the face. <laughs> um, but I will say even that, even th that, those guys, like uh, uh, yeah. so discounting the fact that yes, there's Boston Armenians, there's, you know, there's, but, but also like the, 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 that that guy was like a uh, wicked retarded uh, guy with the baseball cap. <laughs> and the, and the, he's a human bobblehead, and he's like, like, yeah. not really that bad. Like, because I'm from yeah. Milwaukee, like, 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 like there's a there's like, an overlap all there. Blue collar, like Chicago is similar, New York is similar, Boston similar. It's all blue collar sports fans at its core, yep. and uh, <laughs> that's a youp guy. <laughs> yeah, that's a youp guy. Where is he? That's, that's Dave Klein. Do you want to meet Dave uh, Klein? Yeah, man. Dave Klein, come up and meet Rob Cordy. Oh, that's great. I just realized I uh, we got to put a pin in Boston for a minute. I got to meet all my Harmontown friends. Yeah, well, there's Anatoly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where is no, he? He's, he's not here. Is that his seat? He's not been here like, lately. Hey, Rob, Dave Klein. Rob Cordy. Hey, man. Oh, it's, a pleasure to meet you. oh, it's such a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Good. You know when you what when you listen to the podcast backwards. Yep. Yeah. You disappear at one point. It was very There's no yups. It comes yeah. in as pure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's uh, yep. it was disappointing to me. I felt like I lost a friend. No, I understand that. Dave Klein gave me a speech one night where uh, I, I get, well, it's California, so I can say we were getting high outside the uh, trying room and like. Uh, uh, sorry, Rob's parents. Uh, it's, Medicinal. I have, I have, I have anxiety and sleep deprivation. Yeah, we, have, and, uh, we all have prescriptions. <laughs> <laughs> a touch, a touch a, of we glaucoma. all have trouble sleeping. I'm a doctor. I'm he a, wasn't I'm a high doctor. at the wedding. I'm a doctor. So What's that? You weren't high at the wedding, right? right? No, I wasn't high at your wedding. Oh my God. <laughs> it was such your birthday, though. Yeah. I had a great time. You, Rob, Rob Shrub throws a fucking hell of a birthday. I do. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a little. You oh. use little baby yups, uh, just in. Yeah, he does. Yep, yep. He's like, saying it under his breath. Yeah, at times. Like, like at Starbucks, I go, yep. Dave Klein. Yep. <laughs> it's a, it, it actually is helpful in, in uh, kind of. Oh wait, no, you have a problem. Uh, that's no, a that's no, a belch. Yeah, yeah you're... It, it's kind of a hiccup thing, but it keeps people on point. It makes me on point. Like, yeah, I'm gonna need a coffee. Yep. And uh, yeah. I stay kind of on track with the coffee and don't let right. my mind wander. If you, you turn it into high gear, you'll be like, the, the, uh, uh, they don't still have those Sesame Street aliens that would go, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Remember those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guys those that lived in, a, they lived in a planter. Yep. Uh, did you, you, do they still have those? Every, everything got turned nah, into fucking so. Elmo. Yeah. Elmo just took over. Well, I, I, yeah. I, I, but they had these things that would go, yep, 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 yep. And they were like aliens and they were like weird What were we learning? How to read? <laughs> I hope. Being positive. At that point. My, my, Being positive. My my grandfather was a botanist, and so I guess we were starting to learn a little bit about uh you know life plants and uh you know. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think we were. By the way, well, do with that. super important point about Sesame Street. I mean, it was a controversial <laughs> show, but. It, <laughs> It was a controversial show when they were pitching it because their pitch was let's stop pretending that kids aren't growing up in a certain way. Um, the, the, let's cater to the short attention span. <laughs> You know, you know, you know how it's all like um, this episode of Sesame Street is brought to you by the letter T. Yeah. Brought to you by the yep. letter S. The idea was that kids were being raised, you and I were being raised yeah. uh, by televisions, and that we trusted and listened to commercials yep. and things like that. And the children's television workshop was saying, 
why don't we do this? Why don't we try this? And yeah. also, you know, maybe this thing that's not called diversity yet, we should try that too. Yeah, right. Um, and, and so it was a whole controversial thing. It was like, because people were like, well, that's not uh, chaining them to a desk and making them read where the red fern grows. That's like, <laughs> or, or, you know, it's like, like, like education should be austere, which by the way, you know, same thing with re religion. Like we always talk about, it. it's like they insist on the church pews being things, you know, if there's a cushion on the church pew, oh, you're Unitarian. Uh, <laughs> You know, it's 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 like well, yeah, but these church pews were state of the art. Like like like, and and a guy talking in front of an altar in English was state of, was a laser show at a certain point. <laughs> Stained glass mirror windows were like yeah. Pink Floyd yep. concerts. Yep. Yep. Um, yep. 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 <laughs> Anyways, so all I'm saying is because now we're starting to talk about, oh, I saw a kid at the airport and he was reading a magazine. He was trying to pinch and zoom the magazine and then he threw it away. <laughs> <laughs> it's happened. It's that happened. really happened? Yes. Yeah, so oh, I've heard that story three different times. What? Well, uh, get air. out of here. Yeah, no. Yeah, kids, that didn't happens. happen. That yeah, happens. no. Kids, if you hand them a magazine, they will try to pinch and zoom the they fucking will. magazine. No, that's... Yes, a three-year-old no. kid. Kids learn how to use It did not happen. Those. Three years old. I oh, my God. Yeah. I've watched... And... and I sat at breakfast with... Uh, What's his name? Jeremy Bruckheimer. I know oh. that. Okay, now I've said too much. Little Jeremy? Little, little cute Jeremy Bruckheimer? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, I could see that. Um, but he's one of the bastard Bruckheimers. He's, he goes by Jeremy Snow. It's a, He's, he's not officially allowed to be a Bruckheimer. He's just wandering the north of the wall. Pinch and grab a, a magazine. I'm no, I, I can't believe you find that hard to believe. You tried to pinch and zoom a magazine. No, like you I would, didn't. Uh, no, kid, uh, if, 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 if you give a three-year-old kid a book or magazine... Okay, that, let's get one. The, it, they they will they, of course because they're growing up on iPads. It's not a it's not a big deal because by the way, but ma ma cutting down a tree and mashing it with chemicals into a pulp that you can turn into a piece of paper and using a Gutenberg press to like stamp ink onto it. I was like, that's the iPad of its time, and it's not like people then weren't going like oh for it, there goes the neighborhood, you know, like like about <laughs> these books. Like we just look at that as like oh god these precious books. I it, it like 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 who cares if the kids are learning from iPads. The, the, but the thing is, the, somewhere between surrendering to that stuff and like it actually being part of our culture is like this morass of like just chaos where we're like, oh, I wouldn't want to have a kid. I don't know what they're, I don't know how they're learning. It's like some Jim Henson needs to say, look, kids are learning from iPads and like, like, like outside of trying to make a dollar by selling some dumb app that's like, like learn to use alphabets. I don't know. Like, like, like yeah. we still, we need that. We need that. We need that passion. So if you're out there and you're living in Miami and you love kids <laughs> and you own a van, just get into the back of it and, 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 and start tinkering with something that will help them for a change. <laughs> yeah. You've taken so much so far. Give so, back. Give back. Silicon Van. You know, I mean, I think Silicon Valley's had enough. I think a more mobile Silicon Valley all around the world. Silicon Van? Tom Silicon Van. Tomorrow's Silicon Van is guy. a windowless... <laughs> Valley is a windowless white van driving <laughs> out of Miami into... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not for nothing, if you put Roiland, three programmers, and like some kind of a driver type guy, and you know, some kind of a wild card that made sure everything was like kind of all right, I bet those guys would come out with a hell of a game in six months. Yeah. <laughs> Rob, can we introduce Dave Klein to one or both of your parents? Like, what, how, 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 oh, that's great. Do we, we, how do your parents feel about the spotlight? I'm, I'm great with moms. What do you do, What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think the audience would like to meet your mom? I'm great with moms. Yeah, I didn't have a bad mom interaction it's, in my it's life. A, it's, it's a... <laughs> Yours to lose. Donna, Donna, are you shy? Would you Would you, would you be willing to come sit up and? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. Donna Schraub. Behave, behave yourself. Behave yourself. Behave yourself. That's to, that's to you, gorgeous. Oh, you behave yourself. He's really Knock pouring it, it on. Knock it off. Uh -oh. Not cool. Not cool. Now you keep an eye on me over here. Yes. You got a real, you got a real great mom. <laughs> she 
seems, she seems. Stop I mean, talking right now. <laughs> well, apples you need to trees, stop talking. Apples, apples and trees. You're a great guy. You know, you probably got a great mom. That's how it kind of goes. Stop like talking. Me, my mom's great mom. I'm kind of a great guy. <laughs> That's true. That is very true. That all adds Thank up. You. All right, Thank, you. Very Thank you. Thank yeah. you. That means a lot. Uh, Donna, welcome to the show. Sorry about it. Mm, Thank you. But I'm not going to change it for you. Sorry in advance. Uh, how, how are you? It's good to see you. I'm just fine, just fine. Yes, I will say, it's kind of corny now to say this, but I'll say this about both of the parents, like Donna and David. Like, you guys have, like, a Dorian Gray portrait somewhere. Like, you're frozen in time. You guys are... <laughs> You guys are just like like I I I'm I'm turning into just uh, I've gone past Michael Moore and I'm now just like I'm just melting into a puddle of of whatever Kevin Smith uh, uh, yeah. like, like, like 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 cleans out of himself in the morning. No, I'm not dissing him. I'm saying I'm saying like I'm oh, beyond. Brother. Like I'm just like I've turned into protoplasm. Like I'm just like slowly melting. I'm like 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 but you guys are you guys are just the pa- the same image. You, you know, you're just you're just Thank Donna you. and David Trump. Thank you. It's Thank nice. you. I mean, it's not it's not important. To they haven't good. stopped smiling since I met them in the green room. They're sweet people. The show. And They're here's really the thing about people. Rob, like when, you know, like I, I, it's it's through meeting Rob and then meeting his parents that I started to gain insight into the fact that creative types we create our own mythology behind us because Rob would be like. The only story is you'd hear about his his upbringing because you're like hanging out with a creative and you're like 20 years old and you're just like bolstering each other and going like yeah for the society's bullshit <laughs> yeah, yeah punk rock <laughs> and, 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 and you know I'd hear a story about like well one day my mom hid all my comic books or one day you know <laughs> yeah. uh, but you know and then I and then I met you and it's like oh she's a sweetheart she's not hitting me with a belt she's 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 yeah. she's, she's, she's great uh, and I think I do think that's this is a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> like, like t- talk about talk about <laughs> talk about anything you want by the way but <laughs> just talk about like what what it, what, it, what, what, what did Rob have weird privates when he was born or yeah like like do you remember him eating his own shit or <laughs> oh no okay I'm curious about that. All that. <laughs> Should I walk around the block for a bit? No, you should sit there. Okay. Keep one camera on him. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. What's, your, what's the important question? When, when did when did when did Robbie? By the way, his name on his birth certificate, Robbie Schraub. Robbie Christopher. Yeah, not Robert. Not no. not Rob. Oh. Yeah, Robbie oh, is on the birth Mom certificate. Mom didn't. You didn't like Robert. She didn't like. She's going like this podcast at home. Yeah. <laughs> That she's, actually didn't she's help. She's going like this. That's actually, <laughs> that didn't help at all. That's Pum's. She's let me, let me do it again for the listeners. <laughs> <laughs> she's going like this. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. When did when when what what was it? What was the what was the moment when you uh when you really knew Rob was different? Yeah. <laughs> Dan's doing air quote. <laughs> Special. Yeah. 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 Special. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, he was always drawing. He was always drawing. In fact, when he was in second grade and they had to do cursive writing, and it had to be very neat, but Rob would go on the margin and he'd draw all these little pictures, and the teacher would say, I never reprimanded him because I was always anxious to see what he drew in the margins. (laughs) (laughs) This is the best. (laughs) But, but when he was... By the way, I know it feels unnatural because we're, I'm, 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 I'm Midwestern too, but you get, put, you put, put your, put your lips like this distance from the mic, like, so just so we can hear all this tenderness. Um, (laughs) So, so, so Rob, does that match up with, uh, my mom was a supporter. She was an ally. Well, I was there. (laughs) I don't remember all the teachers being very happy about me not doing homework. (laughs) Right. Well, <laughs> but you know. I so mean. he told everybody when he was at the high school graduation, he had to give a speech, and the first thing he said was, "I was the worst high school student 
in all of Mayville. <laughs> it's true. I'm it's telling true. you, you gotta just eat that mic. You gotta eat you it. You gotta eat it, okay. It's, it doesn't feel okay. natural. Okay, like, okay. You hear your, your voice booming, but, all but right. it's, it's okay. All right. So, all right, so what's the worst discipline problem Rob ever presented? Like, like what was like a big family drama? Like, like oh man, we gotta punish this kid. <laughs> No, he was always cute. No, oh, come on. That is true. No, that is come true. on. That is true. But you know what he used to do when he was like three? Oh. Eat his own shit. Eat his own shit. And they Wait, loved... don't say it yet. <laughs> I want to like anticipate it a little bit more. <laughs> he loved going to the tub, being naked. Yeah. <laughs> and then this was at a time when everybody wore cowboy boots. Sure. <laughs> Or so, so he told you. So he put. Yeah. <laughs> so he would always go and put Dave's cowboy boots on and walk around the house naked. <laughs> yeah. Yes. 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 You're kind of proud of that. With That's a, a badge of honor. With a pacifier in his. We mouth. did it this afternoon. God bless him. We did it this afternoon. <laughs> Uh, Dad brought the boots in from yeah. was, Wisconsin. It was pretty hard to get rid of the pacifier. Uh, I called it my noonie. Yes, you called it your yeah. noonie. John, Until what, the day you went into the bathroom and you looked straight at me and you took it and you went right into the toilet. Mm. <laughs> Wait. And then stuck it in his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? And I before the... the day was over with, I had taken it away and threw it away. And he asked where it was, and I said, I don't know where it is. <laughs> Wait, what no. was it, a spoon? I didn't, no, I missed no, the top no, of that. Pacifier. Pacifier. Oh, yeah, he washed it off in the toilet like a, yeah, like a monkey with a potato. <laughs> monkey with a potato. What, what, did, did, I'm just an animal to you. <laughs> did, did he have a word for his pacifier, like binky or boo-boo? Or, a or noonie. Noonie. A noonie. Noonie. Okay. A noonie. A noonie. A noonie. A noonie. Just said that. Okay, I, well, look, I was. Uh, I said it on another podcast too. You have <laughs> no interest in my life. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Donna, how how old were you when you and David got married? I was twenty-one. Wow. See, kids. All right, we were uh, raised by. I know. Kids. Could you imagine Amazing. having children? And I was kid too. Yeah. <laughs> when 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 you were raising me. When you were a child. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, there were, you had Jeff before me. Yes. And then me. Yes. And, and you were 21 when you had me. Right? No, no. What did you just say? Yeah. yeah I was no, 21 Mary. when, was when 21 I got when married. married 21, I got oh, okay. married. Right. And then two years later, Jeff came. And then three years later, you came. And then four years later, I can't Stephen imagine came. having kids. That was such a huge epiphany for yes. me was in, in Hollywood, my <laughs> first one-bedroom apartment. I needed a to get a driver's license. I needed my birth certificate. I was twenty. I was in my early twenties. I think I was twenty three because and um, and so I and I for the first time I bothered to just read my birth certificate from left to right going down. There's like <laughs> there's a baby footprint and there's like things and then it's like my parents were twenty three when they had me. I'm the youngest yeah. of three kids. They mm -hmm. got married when they were out of high school, which is not uncommon. Baby boomer generation. And it's like, yeah. who else am I going to meet? There's no internet. Um, <laughs> let's make it work. <laughs> um, uh, and, and, and it's like, oh my God, I was 23 standing in a sea of empty pizza boxes and <laughs> frankly mannequin parts. And yeah, no, I was a child. I, I, yeah, and I was like, I, if I was in charge of another oh person's life, God. and I have been in the form of any social relationships, oh. and I've been made a disaster out of all of them. All my <laughs> journals when I was 21. Uh, yeah. The, the, the least responsible person. And here we are, like, 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 yeah, I was like, oh, man, I've been bitching about my parents since I was 13, you know, yeah. like, all, like, 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 and it's like, wait, oh, well, they, but they did kind of accomplish something here. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, that was a turning point. Uh, not that I ever became a nice person to my parents or anything, because it's, I mean, or what anybody. You know, it's, it's... <laughs> but your dad also, it should be noted, like, your dad, like, like your, your, your mom kind of is the, 
She's sort of the rock star of your of your of your family because she's adorable. You, you, you're saying that in front of my dad <laughs> because your dad's a stand up guy and he's like he's got he's got that perma grin and it's not it's not insincere and he was wait, wait, weren't you in the navy David or what, what was yeah. the yeah he's like, I mean this he's guy's in like, submarines he's a he's a he's a gentleman and a stand up guy and like uh, I don't know he never like like we never shine a spotlight on him I'm not suggesting we do I don't know what would happen he might start karate chopping us with uh, <laughs> there might be like Manchurian candidate like, like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. programming inside of him don't break we, that we, up we, we'll activate but but i don't know your your parents are wonderful people and they they got Thank married you. when they were 21 and they're still together and they 50 like, years yeah wow so, wait uh, 50 <laughs> you I don't know if that'll happen. I don't know if anyone listening to this podcast will ever experience a 50-year marriage, even in witnessing it. Like I, I don't, I don't, I don't like, like I think that uh, our society has has all too readily accepted the idea that you well, you get three divorces in your life. Like, yeah. what's wrong with these people? I got divorced. Uh, sorry. I, I, I just feel like I'll figure I'll be dead before I hit 50. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, I don't I married don't. like 13 years ago, so I'm not going to make it to 50. My f- greenhouse effect, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you, know so, you know something that I got really freaked out about. So da, da, have you heard of these life pods, Donna? Uh, uh the, the tree? This is a new thing like when you talk about how you want to be, you know, dealt with in your passing. There's the coffin and the ground, and then there's the cremation, and then there's, uh, I don't know, mausoleums in Europe or something. I don't know. Or there's like, a, I think they, they can dangle you from a Zeppelin and just fly you over. Uh, That's not a thing. No, it's not a thing. That's not I, a I, thing. I, 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 but go, go to my GoFundMe and. No. Uh, don't go to that. <laughs> But they have these things called life pods now. My girlfriend was showing me. They're, they look like giant potatoes, like potatoes that you could fit a person in because you do put a person in them and then bury them underground so that a tree can suck on them. And, and so it's like, a, it's like, it's like standard uh-huh. burial, but it's just what's more. Organic. I think that's beautiful. Uh, but I, I, I posted that on Kate's Facebook page and just said, FYI. Uh, but I want to, I want to, but Co- Cody, and, Cody and I want to be in the same one. Yeah. So. That means if I get hit by a bus, I have to be frozen until she dies, and then. So we got to work up the paperwork for that. It's a lot of that's a lot of uh, legal paperwork. Yeah. yeah paperwork. There should be a window. It's like Writers Guild with streaming rights. It's like, there should, be, there should <laughs> yeah. just be like a three. Well, that's a lot if of. If he dies, and then it's three years, and then you start dating, then you can we'll, we'll bury his body in his own life pot. But uh, the the uh, but. The, the thing that started to panic me because I really thought about it was, okay, what if 6,000 years from now, aliens come to Earth and they're like, oh, we found a planet where people lived and evolved into sentient life and they, when they died, they'd bury themselves or each other. Uh, they didn't know about this, uh, uh, Ray. And then, uh, and then everybody who has bones in a box six feet underground in these clearly marked areas, like they all get to go, hey, I'm, my name's Fred Johnson. I, 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 I fought I'm in World War II, and I, it's good to be in the year 8009. Yeah, that's in the- uh, and, uh, But my dumb ass, because I was such a hippie and had my shit scattered in Joshua Tree, <laughs> I'm the only one not at the party. Oh, wow. I'm just, I just like I'm terrified now, and that that explains pyramids. Like you can imagine them; they lived till seventeen, and the, some of them were g- gods, and they were like, "Yeah, build me a pyramid." Like they really thought there was a chance. Like I'm gonna come back. Put yeah, put traps my dogs my... and <laughs> servants in there. With me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do they have to do to the servants to convince them, like, hey, why don't you go, oh, I forgot something in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll get it. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's kind of smart because the servants were always trying to keep them alive. Yeah. Right? Like, what, after they died? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, I always imagine that the food taster is a real, like, serious, like, right-hand man of the king. Because, I mean, that guy can't be screwing around with his, like, eating, right? Like, like, 
the the emperor is gonna need like the food taster, especially in the afterlife. He doesn't know what's what. It's gonna look like a pot roast, but where do you know that's gonna take yeah, you? Yeah, who knows? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and in the, in the, you mean in the afterlife, there's mm. after poison? Well, like, no. Like, well, no, exactly. Shrap, me and Shrap were kind of on the same page on this. Like the reason you're gonna need yeah, Shrap. That's, that's always a red flag. That's a red reason, flag. Uh, it's a big red flag, but I'm gonna go. He, was, with it. he, he wears right. cowboy boots right. and just uh, nothing oh, else. Yeah. Well, not for nothing. My my Don't be my jealous. my high school. School, my high school had a had a dress code, and he had to wear leather shoes and a shirt and tie. But I would wear a shirt and tie, and I wear alligator uh, cowboy boots that I got on Bitcoin before there was a Bitcoin kind of thing going on. You're the best. Long story short, the reason you need a poison tester in the normal life is the same reason you need a poison tester in the afterlife. Uh, I want to hear that whole story. <laughs> It sounds engaging and epic. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna put a pin in that one because I wanted to ask John. Do you think realized... Do you think like when you get an antidote, the poison goes to heaven, and that's what you're talking about? <laughs> oh, so like there's poison, there's yeah. dead poison, dead like, poison, like a ghost poison. All right, and then you can put that in your ghost. It's poison like... with unfinished business. Right. <laughs> So if you give it an antidote... Or no, I'm sorry. That's that's ghost poison. That's that's poison that's still down here yeah. that we just can't know. We don't know that we're eating. Right. 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 I think Val you're Valiant poison that nailed it goes up to no, Valhalla where it's used to poison oh, people. That... sparingly on important and dangerous spirits. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Donna... That's I missed the first part of this conversation because I was talking to Donna. <laughs> you got married at 21, but when did you, did you when did you meet? We actually were in high school together. And so, all right. But we never talked in high school. Yeah, just in general, it was Why? like monastery, or we just, we just, we, I knew of them. Never him talked and to that each other. It. And you went to you went to Mayville High. Hi, right? Yes, you went, went to, to the same high school I did. You did, yes, yes. And so, well, yes. okay, so you... That's how some we Hill got, Valley how we got shit together right there. Was, <laughs> his, his sister and I used to, we used to go out drinking together, and he came home... Hey, one. wait! <laughs> whoa, 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 wait Your out. mother's a person! Hey! <laughs> That's when I used to Well, you're going beer. out drinking! <laughs> <laughs> you're carrying me... No, this, I wasn't married. Oh, okay. God! Yeah, but something. <laughs> uh, Rob this is experiencing his trauma at 9-11. No! Uh, oh. All right, so We continue. cheer 9-11 because we're really happy about the whole, the terrible thing. <laughs> The, you, you would go out. You were go. You would. You were. You were drinking buddies with with Rob's dad's sister. No, no. Dave's, okay. Dave's sister. Dave. We used to. Yeah. Go, Rob, okay. There was, oh yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. how you oh, met. That's right. yeah, yeah. So, for the record. He, for the record. he came yeah, home one record. time from service, and I thought he looked pretty good, and I was kind of under the weather, and I told his sister, I said, I think I'm gonna marry that guy. Wow. <laughs> Before you ever held hands or anything. Yes. Yes. Oh, you just saw him in his uniform like and with, with his little, was, little sailor his cap uniform. under his arm. He, he, was, yeah. he was looking he good. He looked like Mr. Pretzel. Yeah, Mr. He was uh, looking good. Uh, <laughs> uh, Mr. Pretzel. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. great. And six, six, did, did six you, months later, we were engaged. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Be, because oh, oh. because oh, oh. Donna Schramm gets things done. Right. Yes. Come on. Come on. It's in the Schraub DNA. Yeah, you got to do what you got to do. You got to do it. <laughs> do you think that he was compliant with any of that, or was yeah, he just he was. a hapless victim? <laughs> <laughs> no, he was compliant. <laughs> Somewhere along the line, Somewhere he jumped on board. Were you sweet on her from afar? <laughs> sure. <laughs> how he had to think that oh, through. The just answer was sure. That's okay. a <laughs> Thank you. That's, an old, that's how an old school American gentleman speaks about a yeah. lady. Sure. Uh, uh, sure. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, anyway, sorry to throw that in there. I just... <laughs> you're, no, you're not like, as good as like that. Ray of, there's a ray of masculinity like emanating from Rob Schraub's dad that like informs like a lot of like power invested in the. Yeah, were you an admiral? Anyway, well. Okay. Yeah, anyway. He has a regal presence for the you podcast. Command respect. He has a regal, yeah. Anyway. But, but he, he, you, you were on, you were on submarines and stuff. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's better than being an admiral. Uh, I think. Yeah. They, With. 
Rick, Rick, what, is that a famous admiral that was like, Rickover? yeah, Admiral Rickover? What admiral a, Rickover. Well, let's let's. let's you ever get Rick Ro- over on YouTube? <laughs> 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 We're gonna check. <laughs> you gonna check out the new yeah. Avengers trailer and get Rick over. Uh. You just try to look at a weather person's blunder. And yeah. you get Rick Rovered. Uh, yeah. Over. What New- was what was Rick Over's? What was he? What was his crucial role? He was really the father of the nuclear navy. He first one that came off the uh, novelist. Yep. So wow. You. <laughs> so he was. A- he used to say, "Not bad for 120 pounds." Too. <laughs> did, 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 did you know? Did you know him? Uh, did, did you ever meet him? It's in ceremonial circumstances. He's, he's, Doing quizzes and checking out when they used to have operational readiness, and he would run. Nobody can hear. hear well, operational I, okay, readiness. Well, I, we don't know well, that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but that's. Well, I'm it's interesting it to us. I was going to. For the record, Rob Strong Chad was laying down some like serious like historical nuclear submarine knowledge and like the admiral he was serving under. But just sweep that under the rug. We don't need to get a mic on that. All right. Well, <laughs> well there's only so many mics, so let's replace yeah. Dave Klein with with uh, yeah. David Strong. My, my Yay. pleasure. My, Absolute pleasure. David, yeah. if you'd be, we'd be honored if you would come nice. up and just. Uh, thank, you. thank you, Dave Klein, Mr. Schraub, the the modern definition the of a gentleman. Yes, sir. Thank you, Dave. I'm sorry, Dad. You. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right. So you were just saying from your chair. You served in the Rickover administration. I don't. That, that's not. That's not. Those aren't the words you used. Your admiral when you were in the Navy was Admiral Rickover, who I've never heard of, but was a. It, he. You're saying he was like the. He, he, he was, was the a, Steve Jobs of the nuclear navy. <laughs> yes, exactly. That would. That would be a good. Good analogy. Wow. Did you see that Steve Jobs well, movie? Uh, yeah. Not yet. Yeah. It's kind of. Rickover. <laughs> Rickover was a little bit of an sob. <laughs> wow. Very much so, in fact. He wanted things his way, and if you gave them to him his way, maybe things worked more efficiently, but maybe? I don't know. Maybe. He was, he was pretty much a non-military kind of guy. He, he, uh, he never wore his uniform. Really? He, he he was really? A, he, so he was more of a Zuckerberg type. He'd just show up in pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> he wore a hoodie. Just Crocs and an iPod. <laughs> um, so, what, what, so in the Navy, this is the stuff like my uh, my ex wife's father was a uh, uh, a chaplain, a Navy chaplain, um, and uh, I didn't even really realize until I was talking to him that what this you you were an enlisted man. You signed up. You were <laughs> yes. Right? And and I didn't, I never even knew this about our military. In all of the branches of the military, there is a uncrossable line between enlisted men and officers. Right? You can't become. You can go as high as a certain rank if no, you're enlisted. That's not, that's not correct. Okay. Great. <laughs> you, can, you, can, <laughs> you, can, gotcha. you can go all the way from seaman to admiral if you are so inclined. Really? Or your ability will let you do that. Okay. It's possible. Okay. Maybe, so maybe what he was expressing, or maybe, and I shouldn't put words in his mouth. Uh, maybe I'll get a letter from him. Did you? You just got me fired from the military. Um, <laughs> I thought it was like actually like no like like officers like, 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 like it's almost sounded like a class system thing. Like if you were born w- wealthier, basically that you go you, you're like if you go to West Point like you maybe would go in to, maybe in 1919 or something like that, but not not today. Is it maybe an army thing instead of like a navy thing? It's a it, marine. No. A Marines thing? Yeah, you can't go to the, you This go guy, to the, he's saying, no yeah. way, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> Between the to, two of you, I you believe it. You can go to it. Sergeant Major in the Marines if you didn't go to college. If you go to college, then you can go to General. But oh, it's, there's a, huh. it's a college thing. Yeah. Okay. So, sense. okay. Well, so you if could. If you go to Sergeant Major, <laughs> so you, could you be might a, be a General. <laughs> Je- Jeff Foxworthy routine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I haven't explained things to you. Um, so can you well can, just give us a little side of your story because because your your, your wife of course she's going to glorify herself in the story how she like she she set you yeah. in her crosshairs and then six months later you were a husband. Yeah, prove that you're the uh, real that hero. That was pretty much it. <laughs> okay, that was pretty much it. 
did you did you did you feel like like the the push? Did you like like this this ladies? I was pretty willing participant. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you were fine with it. You were like this this. This goddess is coming into my world, and okay, that's that's my new religion. Like, like that's. Uh, I, I yeah okay. I uh, fifty years, so man. Great. Boy, oh boy. No kidding. Well, what? Do, okay, so give us some pointers because we live in this sewage yeah. where we're all watching porn together, and uh, <laughs> everything's pierced and tattooed, and we're not watching it together. <laughs> I've uh, never watched porn with anybody else. He's talking about him and his girlfriend, mom and dad. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. Go ahead. But also, what, what, you what were you what saying? After the shows, yeah. oh, what were you God. saying? Um, <laughs> saying like we Not live this in a Bob Kane stuff. <laughs> that would be a bit the royal we. We, Go li- ahead. we live in a, we live in a society where the 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 boundaries have been eroded. They've been taken down, and in so many ways, that was an important thing to happen because those boundaries were protecting bad things happening to good people. Um, we needed we needed to like kind of lower uh, the compartments uh, so that everybody was all mixed together, and that what was once <laughs> considered. <laughs> Only for behind closed doors conversation started to move onto the television and then onto the <laughs> into everyday conversation. Uh, along the way, I think one of the things we've definitely lost, and I don't know if it's for better or for worse, is that the 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 is the lifelong marriage is like it's we don't. So I, I'm almost I'm just I guess what I'm asking is if we could without changing too much about the direction we're moving in because we all we all need to keep evolving and 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 being more chaotic in our life but i think also a lot of us would like to think they could be in a partnership that lasted as long you know for for, for 50 years or more it, are is there any little nugget like 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 any little tip like you guys are going to say red candles <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. A little more. Yeah, red, red candles, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Did you guys ever? Have you guys ever been to couples therapy? Have you ever had no. to do any maintenance? No. Do you know about that? Yeah. No. <laughs> That's a thing now. That's yeah. A thing. Well, yeah. It's, don't it's, need it. <laughs> so what did you? What, how did you guys? I mean, what's the what's the secret? What's to, the secret? The, 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 I love them the same as I did the first day we got married. Oh. There you have it. It's, it's kind of a frustrating <laughs> answer, but best <laughs> we'd like to know the secret, and, and you're obviously my, just telling us and we're the best, and, and we're like, we know. Best. What's the secret? <laughs> and he's my best friend. <laughs> and he's my oh, best yeah. friend, and we talk things over. And there's that, there's and, nothing. And he he's the calm one, and I'm the worrier. So. <laughs> The balance. Yeah. So then, so the, so the. Somebody's got to do the worrying so the, in the, the family. The, 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 the military man, the guy that you yes, saw in yeah. a uniform and said he's going to be my husband. He's the one that actually brings the "don't worry about it" as much uh, energy. Like he's very calm. You find yourself fretting more, and then he says, "I ah, don't worry about it that much." Yeah. Just let it go, all right? He was <laughs> sleeping in a submarine powered by nuclear. Yeah. Yeah. Power. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, like, he's like, listen, this isn't a big deal. <laughs> Yeah, you can use the. You can have the remote. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Have you seen Das Boot? Uh, uh, How dangerous? Like when when you were in the submarine, like how deep were you? Oh, I've asked that. (laughs) Let let him answer. (laughs) Like how? How? how Four hundred feet or more. Four hundred feet. Ten years. And like, do you see any? Boogans or anything? <laughs> <laughs> see any military No, term. you don't see anything. There's like six inches of steel between you. Oh, okay. And the There's no windows. There's there. no there windows. are no windows. <laughs> no windows. And no screen doors. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Settle down. Settle down. Did you do, do you have to say 400 feet or more because someone once told you you're that that you can't that's say it. that's you the, can't that's say the secret. Yeah, and, 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 and so it. it could have been as much as 2400 feet and you saw the Loch Ness monster and yeah, did well, battle with it. And I wouldn't tell you. Uh, no. <laughs> you can neither he confirm even or tell me. Okay. He couldn't even tell me. Yeah. You no, know, I'd say uh, How serious? deep did you go? Pretty deep. To where, where? How far? <laughs> Pretty deep. How far did you go? Classified. Pretty far. <laughs> <laughs> but it is. It is classified. You're sworn to secrecy. He's sworn to right? secrecy even ten years after he's out. You, well, you, ten years. Well, how long you been out? <laughs> yeah. <he's, it's>, you <laughs> been out? Yeah. Oh boy. 
It's like 50 years. Well, let's spill. Let's <laughs> tap in. <laughs> what, what's up with Area 51? Well, was, it, was, it, was, it, was it Sarah Palin who said they could see Russia from her backyard? Yeah. Well, I could see it through the periscope. Uh, <laughs> I was, I was going to make the joke. You were just off the coast of Nova Scotia. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, uh, yeah, you were you were you were you were in a submarine whose job was if the shit hit the fan to strike first, if not second, and harder. Like you were yeah, parked much, off yes. of our enemy and waiting to blow them up if you had to. What was your day to day like? Like, it's a lot of cosplay. <laughs> You make your own fun when you're <laughs> in a steel tube with 90 dudes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, it's so unfair. It's so unfair. <laughs> what, 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 what was the day-to-day? What? It, was, it was pretty routine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, by, yeah, I mean, that's, exactly. uh, that's probably a military priority. Yeah, like, like, yeah. The, the, what, what, what was your post? What was your station? What was... Uh, were you uh, Maneuver, maneuvering? Uh, we would operate the reactor. Oh, okay. Wait. So, wow. Ma- maneuvering and we would operate the reactor to me sounds like two different things. Maneuvering no, no, sounds it's like it's the same place. It, the, the area, the control room, was called maneuvering. Okay. Like, and the, but 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 the reactor. You're talking about the nuclear reactor. Correct. You would operate the reactor. Yes. How is that maneuvering? The reactor isn't it just a furnace that's powering this thing. You're not just shoveling nuclear that's material into it. <laughs> no, you're not shoveling it. But uh, that's what uh, require. It's required to maneuver to move. Is to is to like turn up and down this thermostat on this nuclear yeah, kind of, wow. not plant. Quite, not quite a thermostat, but something like that. Yes. <laughs> they shape it like a steering wheel to make you feel more comfortable. <laughs> but really, it's a thermostat. How many how many people uh, did that with you? Three. Three. Did, did anybody go crazy down there? <laughs> no, I can't handle couple, it, man. Couple no. wild cards down there? No. <laughs> Never had that happen. No? We had someone come aboard one time. We were short a person, and they were going to volunteer for submarines, so they didn't really vet them very well, I guess would be the word. And. We, we never pulled away from the side of the tender before he said, I can't take this. Oh. That happens on Deadliest Catch every week. <laughs> yeah. you ever watch There's always a greenhorn that is like, I've there. watched this show on TV. I'm going to be a great crab fisherman. And then they're like puking and they can't handle it. And they, you know, Let me out of here. Um, yeah, I can't even begin to. No. Uh, wait, wait, no. what, okay, so uh, were you in the shit? No. Okay. How long? Uh, how long would you be? How long would you be uh, in the submarine for? Uh, well, like days, weeks? The longest? Yeah. 120 day patrol. Oh, 120 wow. days. Oh, man. Uh, you guys have it so easy. <laughs> and were you? So I assume that if you, you would, would you? So you were parked somewhere strategically. And then after that 120 days, that's when another sub would come and relieve you, kind of tap you out, and you would take this thing. Go something, back the, something like that. Uh, like we weren't really parked. We had a maybe a, a little course, maybe a hundred mile, hundred square mile area where we would be in somewhere. And, and there was never any moment when most of the equipment failed, and there was another yeah. one out and there. And it was Baldwin like, Wait, was listen, there. listen, listen, listen. <laughs> <laughs> turn off all the turn off all the fans. The fans are making noise. Yeah. But if we turn off the fans, we won't be able to. Sh- Ed sh- Harris. To Ed Harris discovers bubble up, aliens. Bubble up to ten. The bubble only goes to nine. To ten, I said. There was, there was never these submarine dramas. There's like nine good ones. Do you watch them? Or, or, or do, or, or, do you feel traumatized at all? Or do, when you watch no. Das Boot, when you watch? Uh, no, no. Das Boot was a good representation. Yeah, well, was that the best one? Was that the was best? That I, I think it was one of the best ones. Was it that really that most touch real, and go with like realistic. bolts flying out, like a water well, spring? Under? You know, you've got to remember, I was in mostly peacetime, right? Cold War, but it was a little different. Than, oh, we all miss it so much. <laughs> <laughs> Just when our enemy for fifty years was other so white guys simpler. with a backwards alphabet. <laughs> so simple. <laughs> And we all just had an agreement. Let's just make James Bond movies and hang out. 
the kids' cartoons will have like Natasha, yeah. like 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 femme fatale, like like you know bull. It's so great. Yeah. We it's, do it's a like, nuclear drill every once in a while, and now it's just and like hello. Be I'm done with it. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. I'm a crazy person with a completely. Like, like, I'm taking a <laughs> yeah. turkey carving knife and I'm doing this, yeah. uh, and we're we're all we don't know what we're doing. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I I I I just envy that so much. Like the the, the, the we envy the Cold War. Yeah. <laughs> Because it was nice and I feel cold. For you. <laughs> yeah. I think war is best served cold. <laughs> we, 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 and you can see us trying to recreate that, like since 9/11, that we're trying desperately. Yeah. A new generation that's the has inherited um, this the, the, an empire that was really forged by kind of wizards, you know, guys smoking cigarettes and doing nothing but thinking in the basement of the Pentagon about how do we get into World War II and what are we going to do when we get into that and how are we going to turn that into America running the show? And they and they nailed it. Um, and and then that plan, which was 50 years long, kind of ran out right around that fateful day. And we're all living in this weird epilogue where... It's more open source now. We're all watching each other lie and scramble to try to recreate the glory days. You can see us trying to, oh, 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 ISIS? Yeah. Is it going to be ISIS? Okay, okay, great, great. So ISIS, so, the, the, so ISIS. So we, we can bank on that? In your, in your good light, put the turban on and just like be ISIS. Can you be ISIS for 50 years? Okay, nailed it. Great. Okay, that's going to move Twinkies. Uh, <laughs> but, but they're not playing ball, you know? They're not, they're, 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 that's not going to happen. Uh, I, I don't know why, why, what my point is. Let's, let's, uh, let's move on. Um, uh, how many people are, uh, were on board your sub? Well, <laughs> well, uh, over 20. Yeah, oh, well, 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 about 100. Are you still uh, friends with them? Some of them? Some. Yeah. Some. We go to a reunion every couple of years. Because uh-huh. that's a... You're, you must have gotten really close with some of these guys. <laughs> Literally, yes. <laughs> it was required. You, you're very close, yeah. <laughs> you gentlemen are going to have to get close. Logistically, you were close. <laughs> <laughs> you have submarine reunions, is what you're saying. That's like, awesome. Yes, we do. From, uh, Can so, I come so, to one of those? Uh, I, I, I would like to watch one through a periscope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want interf- to interfere in soil. I would love to hear what... what, what, you, what, you, what what's you could do your saying? historical figure there. Yeah. Last reunion, we had Ben Franklin show up. Wait, what? <laughs> Literally. I t- mm. Explain. <laughs> Was it like a stripogram? <laughs> they had a Ben Franklin... A penny in- saved is a penny burned. <laughs> <laughs> he, came, he came out of a cake and was like... <laughs> they had, they, Mom, tell him. Tell him. They had a... Tell him, Mom. Oh. <laughs> No, at the last reunion, all of a sudden somebody came through the door, and he was because the name of the ship was Ben Franklin, oh. and so he came through the door, all dressed up and as a Ben Franklin, and helped give out all the awards, and it was kind of cool. What did what did he sound like? <laughs> what did he sound like? Yeah, what, what, Ben Franklin. I, and you know, I, I think he, he sounded exactly like Ben Franklin. Oh wow. <laughs> As, as you, as, that's a pretty as, good Ben Franklin. As near as I could tell. Oh, okay. Um, he did the right. best impression of Ben Franklin. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think they've been really good sports, and I, I want I want them to end on a on a on a comfort high. And I just want to thank thank, thank Donna and uh, <laughs> David Schroff for coming up. You guys can go back and relax while I try to figure out how to end the show. Thank you so much. Dan, Dan, you are very well behaved. Thank you so much. It was very nice of you to not be obnoxious and and hurt. Uh, I've my always parents. I've always liked your parents. Okay. I've, 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 I felt I've, like they were kind of being dicks. <laughs> See, Rob, That's their thing. I mean, man. No offense, Rob. <laughs> Da- da- David David you, does that thing with his face. You no, know, he he's does. Like, mm, yeah. You can tell he's thinking, "Fuck you." Yeah. Uh, they, they're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. This is joking. Funny. This, is, joking. This, this is funny to them. <laughs> you have great parents. I do. You have great parents. I do. That's why I brought them along. Yeah. I'm proud of them. But look at you, punk rock. <laughs> 
Hey. Rob, do you remember when we were uh, back in Milwaukee? We were in the Dead Ale Lives, and for some reason, our culture was based around uh, uh, humping each other. Uh, all the guys in the improv troupe, and we would we would all mime sodomy with each other. Yeah, it was new. No one else was doing it. <laughs> Cutting edge. And at one point, Rob was at my parents' house in the suburbs of Milwaukee, and and we were so accustomed to doing this thing. And like, like my dad is a nice guy and liked Rob, and sitting at a counter, bordering the living room and the kitchen. And I was in the kitchen, and Rob, you know, what a butcher block is that the thing? Like That's the, a butcher the block. The island, yeah. the kitchen island. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Rob bent me over the kitchen island. <laughs> And, I'm listening. And started miming, uh, making making love to me. Making love. You know, I had an opening and I had to go for it. Because you knew his dad would get it. Yeah. You're like, and, 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 this and is, he, I'm only getting one chance to do this. And he pulled and he pulled my hair <laughs> and lifted my head and said, "Look at your father." <laughs> Look at your father while I fuck you in the ass. <laughs> and my dad <laughs> was like eating eating pistachios on a on a paper towel by the phone by the landline and was like, <laughs> like I remember my dad was like he thought it was funny, he, but he w- was so confused as to, when did this become okay? Am I supposed to do something? They're, they're 20. I never, I never really realized, I realized till now like how lucky I was that you never did that. You had every right to do that to me. Right tonight, right, right. now. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, believe me, no, Wait. I've been a really good host. Yeah. Yeah. Every right to do that, you know, in, in, in between <laughs> then and now. You no, know, I and owe you, you never one. did. <laughs> and I it wouldn't, oh man. Because I respect oh. your family. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> do you get along with your parents? My or? dad would never forget that. Like, I feel like our relationship <laughs> would have been different from then on. Yeah, I get, I get along with my parents. Now, oh, I, I always got along with my parents because I tried just to get along. <laughs> but lately, a couple of years ago, I was like, no, I'm going to consciously, like, it's me. I know it's not them. Like, I'm the one that's, uh, I'm the one that has a problem with this. They're just my, they're my parents. And, and uh, I'm not going to change them. And w- why would I want to change them? And so then I just made a conscious effort to try and get a lot well mostly my mother because I was like kind of a mama's boy growing up so but and my mom and I have a great relationship thank you <laughs> my always, dad was just in town last night we went to a silent auction it was fucking great we Papa Cordry bid on a Papa Cordry and Nate my brother Nate Cordry yeah. the three of us all the male corners. We went, we bid on a lot of shit. At a silent auction. Oh, right? no, it wasn't silent. It was an auction. <laughs> it was loud. Listen, there's still time to bid. Go to... Uh... <laughs> um, I the, heard... the point of the story is that I just saw my dad last night. <laughs> and they, uh, they it was fun. Do they live back in Boston? They, they live in... Well, everybody that's retired in Boston moves to Florida. Florida. My parents... Retires in Florida, Milwaukee. yeah. yeah. Wisconsin. Yeah, Milwaukee. so they live in the villages. Do you know about the villages? Uh, My father and his <laughs> wife live in the villages, which is the largest retirement community in the world. Oh. And apparently, you can see it from the moon. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Great Wall of China get... and the villages. <laughs> At, at, at 5.30 in the morning when they all go to breakfast, you can see the people. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. like a line of ants. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and um, it's, uh, it's fucking crazy. They are, it's the largest recorded, the largest recorded HPV outbreak happened there. <laughs> because, because 
You know, do you remember that movie with uh, Matt Dillon's first movie? What was that like with the teenagers? It was about a... Um, Flamingo kid, drugstore oh. cowboy. Oh, no, uh, come on, the, man. The, the bodyguard. Nope. Yeah. It was... I know what you, you know what I'm talking about. I forgot the name. The outsiders. What's it called? The Outsiders. No, 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 no before that. No. Rumblefish. No. Nope. No, no, no. Cheap Trick did the soundtrack. Cheap Trick. It's called Cheap Trick. No, no. No. That was just the soundtrack. <laughs> it was... Uh, but anyway, it was a movie about... Um, uh, uh, planned communities. Kids, kids taking over. Yeah, and 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 that the first for the first time, and this happened in the seventies. Like communities, there were planned communities, sixties and seventies, and for the first time ever, there was a dense population of teenagers. And when teenagers over get the to edge get, to get, get over the, over the, the edge. They get together and they commit... Cr- no, bottom of the streets? Over the Wild edge. The what? Wild in the streets? Is that the right movie? Terminator 2. That's, oh. that's, <laughs> that's, the movie's a, called Over the Edge. The movie's called Over it's the called Edge. It's called Matt Dillon's first movie. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and they... When, when a, when a concentrated... Matt as Kevin Edge. <laughs> when a concentrated group of teens get together, they commit crimes. Right. Like, they just... Go crazy. Well, like when in a our concert- neighborhood, we just throw rocks at cars. <laughs> Look back they, and yeah. I go, "What the hell?" Are you they doing? take acid because that was a new thing, and they throw rocks at cars. But they, uh, this is all to say, this is a, uh, it's a fun movie. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of it? Over the Edge. It is. It might be Over the with Christy McNichol. I think I don't know if she's in it. I think Christy McNichol might be in it too. But when you get a, they chain, they chain like all of like the parents and the adults inside the high school, and then they. No, chain. no, 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 oh, no, no, no. That's like a this is video the, kickboxing. I don't movie. even know if I'm gonna tell the end of this story because, <laughs> it's it was great before I belabored the whole <laughs> fucking thing. Uh, anyway, they got for the first time this amount of old people together in this concentrated a population, and all they do is fuck. <laughs> Because old people fuck and teenagers uh, do crimes. That's my point. That's my stance. But, but do old people, do they do it extramaritally? Yeah, I think so. I that, think they're all swingers. I think they all, um, there's an orgy club or something. <laughs> Well, I don't think the shrub. That's why the no, shrubs aren't the, moving no, to Florida. No, you guys have been married. All these people that are on their second marriages, they're, uh, and they're, they go at five o'clock, they go to the town village, they go to the town square, the created, the built the town fuck square. Dome. The fuck dome. <laughs> Two men enter, yeah. three men leave. And they... <laughs> uh, we'll figure it out. That's the motto of the fuck dome. And they uh, tailgate, they tailgate at the town square and they so line hot. dance, all the women line dance in their golf carts. They all have garf- golf carts and they get fucked up and then they have sex. And they, get, they give each other HPV, <laughs> which is a serious thing, HPV. <sighs> Jaws, right. Well, it sounded like your dad is out of a second marriage because you said but your dad and his wife, you didn't say my mom. Is it- yeah, yeah. No, my, my parents split up uh, when I was 25 because my mother came out of the closet. Yeah, she be woo. Yup. She, yeah, she yeah. came out of the closet and caught your dad cheating on, on her. <laughs> it was a literal oh, closet. Oh, sorry. Back there. Yeah, she uh, had her office in the closet. She Kelly had a little that... desk in there, <laughs> and uh, yeah, a little computer, and that's where she did her busy work. Uh, yeah, no, she came out of the closet in 1985, 1995, and. Um, and they uh, they uh, split up soon after that, obviously. Uh, and now, now is your mom? Uh... Oh yeah, she's with the same woman she was with. She basically split up with my dad for right. Are, and did, uh, did, it's great. Did it's, they get did they get married? They got married. They got married three or four times. You get along. If with... you're gay in the Northeast, <laughs> like you go to every state that legalizes it. <laughs> you're like, I'm gonna get married here, and here, and get married everywhere. It's great. And so you've got a you. What, what do you? What, how, I'm sure you just refer to her by her first name. But like, how do you think? Was, you know, is this like Auntie Spence? Her name is Spence. What? But that's her last name. <laughs> that's and crazy. The, uh, 
That's her last name too. Her name is Deb, and uh, but everybody calls her by her last name. She's from West Roxbury. She's a Boston townie. Yup. Two one three two. Man, I want a lesbian mom. <laughs> you want a lesbian mom? Yeah. It is pretty cool, man. I get a lot of street. I get a lot of cred. That would be amazing. Lot. I got a lot of cred for that. Yeah, like, like, like yeah. Uh, yeah. That would yeah. be a great way out of oh, a lot of I conversations. I worked through like my a lot a of lesbian. shit. I worked. Oh, it was so hard for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can drop any. You can take that to any direction you wanted. You're like, look, yeah. my mom's a lesbian. So a lesbian here's the deal. Mom. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you could bend that to any. Uh, everyone would be like, all right, fine. Um, uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So wait, I had one. Uh, there was something on the tip of my brain. Because you Oh, I was. Well, I, I wanted to take a poll because I'm so curious. So. Let's just assume the median age in here is like 25, 26. Yeah, let's do that. So uh, applaud if you're... Uh, how do I how do I how do I pull this data uh, simply? Applaud if your parents are her on Gay their first fuck. marriage. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so now applaud if if you're if that's not the case if your parents are okay. Still sounds like a minority. I don't know. I, I you hear these figures like seventy percent, eighty percent divorce rate. There's a lot of people that didn't clap at all. What what happened? Yeah. Oh, they're just sleepy. There's another category. <laughs> What's the other category? What's the other category? Those are people who were born in life pods under the earth. <laughs> oh. So, but they the have trees no parents. are in the audience. The trees are their parents, and okay. they are here to take back what's theirs. All right. It's 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 the happening. Uh, um, all right, uh, Spencer. <laughs> hey, I have a friend named Abed. Oh God! What happened? What okay, happened? this so, is fucked up. Okay. What happened? Yeah, I talked to Abed today. It turns out, okay, he he drives an Uber for his job. Uh, he's been no. out of work for a while, and he's like, I should get a job with Uber. He fucking loves it. It's it's like a great job for him. You know, he can talk to people. He gets the money he wants. He can make his own hours. It's great. He uh, he was driving around, and some guy flags him down. Is like, hey, but how the it go? He stops for the guy, and is like, what what's happening? And this guy's like, will you pick me up? And he's like, well, you gotta use the app. And the guy's like, well, let me go get my girlfriend. Whee! The guy walks off and a cop car pulls up behind him and is like, you can't do that shit without a taxi license. And he's like, I didn't do anything. I, the guy flagged me down and I talked to him. They arrested him, impounded his vehicle, took him to the station, let him out, and he had to like get a ride home. He doesn't have his car, so he doesn't have his job. And uh, so his car is impounded and he can't make money to pay to get it out of impounded. So uh, I, I set up a GoFundMe for him. Um, it's GoFundMe.com slash help Abed. It's, it's not too much money. We're just trying to get him so he can pay his rent because he can't pay his rent because he can't, you know, work. That's insane. So just for 30 crazy. days because it sounds like, are they shaking down? Is this, this must be, is yeah, it, I don't do you think this is some kind of LA municipal? It was in like Van Nuys. So I don't know. I mean, Van Nuys might be less busy than real LA. But I don't know. Yeah. No, what's that? They've done that. They That's a thing. Down, yeah. I mean, it seems like a really effective one. I mean, it's like if you were trying to shut down Uber, then you're just impounding cars for 30 days at a time because it doesn't matter. You don't. You don't get to go to court and go. I was guilty well, or innocent. Your car is just out of commission for thirty days. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a lawyer, but but that's straight up entrapment. If, if uh, yeah, uh, that's fucking. It yeah. is entrapment. Not, not not stopping for a person flagging down your car is called being a dick. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like 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 what what yeah. how is that, the if that's if that's really how it went down? Which I, I, it took me a long time to really get the details out, but I think that's the accurate <laughs> because picture. you were talking to Abed. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we've had Abed on the show before. Is this so, a real uh, Abed? Yeah, this is real, real Abed. One of my That's friends. Another he, one of my friends. He, although, he brought uh, everyone so much joy in the form. I, I always Abed. want to point out, you know, I do think that the character I created is is more dimensional. Yeah. <laughs> I think that calling Abed real Abed is an insult. Yeah. I don't have a lot to base to my that work. On, I think, but I trust you. I trust what I feel you say. Like, I feel like what I did is the real Abed. Yeah. Like, 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 like this is a guy named so Abed. The original Abed. 
Yeah, he's the first, original. first Hobbit. He's the name that I got. I yeah, got the name from this dude. Yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, he's a he's he's a good guy, and we we, we love him. And uh, <laughs> he's that's a bummer. I'm, I'm, I'm relieved that he's not currently in jail. Yeah, I, I, I uh, yeah. How the, long was he in jail for? Yeah. I don't think he was. I think he got arrested, and they took him to the station, and then they let him go. I I don't know. Like the handcuffs specific. and everything. I, I think they put him in the back of the car. I don't know if they put him in handcuffs. In the back of the Uber or in the back of the car? <laughs> No, they would. <laughs> That'd be weird. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> drive to the impound lot. We'll follow you. Yeah. As yeah. we all know, I- I- in the Los Angeles area, typically if you flag down a cop car, you get shot, shot in the eyeball, in the face. <laughs> um, what? And yeah. still survive. Well, speaking of GoFundMe, I, I, I haven't. I, you know, I was passionate about that for for my attention span but uh there's a guy that, that, that across the street from shrav's apartment no in front of my apartment yeah he saw it weird distinction to <laughs> across okay. across the street I, instead you are of connected in, with it no 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 <laughs> there was this guy that was walking down the street during like prime time on los Feliz. yeah and he uh flagged down a cop he had like a towel around his hand and he flagged down the cop car and they pulled over and they got out. Because he goes walking every day, yeah. according to his son, takes a towel and a bottle of water. No shirt, broad daylight, Los Feliz. This oh, is a guy who, who, he's just walking. God. Middle-aged guy, just like, this yeah. is what he does. He goes walking. This is what he does. This so he is what he's a, done for 30 years. The, unfortunately, the, the story, the story, the, 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 it, it, you know, the, tr- the true side of the story that you need is locked in the brains that end up getting blown out because yeah, the yeah. other, the other, the, the other side is up to lawyers and yeah. the city. The police get out of the car and they say, "Drop the gun, drop the gun," and he's like, "I don't know what," and he didn't have. What a would gun. you do if you were holding a towel and cops kept saying, "Drop your gun, drop the gun"? You would. You would probably go, I don't think I, I would drop my towel. Yeah. I think there's a good chance I would go, it's a towel. Yeah. And, a, 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 and they shot him they shot him in the eye and 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 he didn't die, but they and then they handcuffed him, which I guess is police procedure. Yeah. But you know like it's they just rolled his bloody but oh, it was awful. It's awful. But oh, it happened God. like right outside my house. Like Kate and I were like hanging out in the in the living room and we hear pop 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 and I was like somebody just got shot and looked outside and there's everything. Fuck. Like, yeah. And there's a million videos of his lifeless body being handcuffed. There's no videos of the incident, even though it happened in rush hour traffic because it just happened that fa- that fast. Yeah. The 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 problem is like like, like, well, the, the way that the city handles this stuff, like something like this happens, and then this guy's wife, she has to quit her job. Like, 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 like he, like, we, we don't, we pretend like it's, it's not like it's not like a game show where all yeah. of a sudden you're elevated to a different part of life. Like their ordinary life has to continue, and everyone's just like, "Yeah, we shot your husband in the eye," and then was it, we're the the two cops that did it are going back to work. Of course they would. They're getting evicted too because uh, they can't afford to pay rent. She had to quit her full time job because she has to take care of her husband, yeah. who a quarter of his head is Walter missing. Walter De Leon. Um, and 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 so there's just a GoFundMe for them because it's like, well, we can't make our rent. It's not about justice. It's not about outrage. It's about like, well, now we're gonna be homeless too because we got shot in the eye by the cops. We're going to also then, as a as a matter of course, be evicted from our apartment. It, that's the point where it gets it's it's it, it's it's insane. So which I I think crowdfunding if there's one thing we can do. And I, I always said when I was tweeting that link, I was like, if you live in Los Angeles, and particularly if you work for the city, um, because maybe you know let's have a stake in this. But I don't. But you know, people from Ireland will and give a dollar to a guy. It's like like well, there must be fucked up stuff going on in Ireland. I don't know what my point is. I, I like like I, I know that there's suffering happening all over the place, but there's a <laughs> there's the two GoFundMe's on my radar are the guy who got his brain shot out in front of Rob's apartment, whose wife is about to be homeless because it's hard to take care of a person with a quarter of a brain and also Ugh. work at Shoney's, uh, like like wherever wherever she worked. She she worked at NASA. Dan, don't be an asshole. Um, <laughs> she, uh, whatever whatever her job was, uh, uh, I'm sure it was twelve hours a day, and like like. Like then she had to quit it, and they just did. so it's just like a certain amount of money they need so they can continue to live in their apartment. And this is Abed now who got entrapped, obviously entrapped, unless he's a pathological liar, which I don't think he is. He got flagged down by a cop, and they yeah, they, but they confiscated his car, and now he can't make a living. 
Uh, the other one is just uh, Holocaust survivors, but you know, whatever. Put that on the back burner. <laughs> <laughs> Does he have his car back? No, no. It's it's impounded and he can't even get it. Like it's he can't try forever. for thirty days. Oh my god! How much? How much does it cost to get it on impounded? Uh, I don't know. They they won't you tell re- you the re- exact re- price. Rebounded, yes. Yeah. Rebounded. We made an estimate, but uh, they won't tell you the exact price, but they'll tell you what they think it'll be over the phone. But you can't, t- they won't tell you until 30 days pass. and Because they, they charge you for the tow and then for the storing the whole time. They, tra- the store. they charge you for yeah. storing. Hey, we're, we're not made out of space over here at the impound lot where you can't get your car out. <laughs> you, You're 30 days. <laughs> I, I wish I could whistle. <laughs> like, 30 days you made us keep this car in here. If you ever get approached by a policeman, <laughs> just lay down on the ground and spread yeah. your limbs out spread as every wide as finger. you can. <laughs> and just say, I don't have anything in my hands. I don't have anything in my hands. <laughs> I mean, that's what, that what you're describing is what we found out in this recent rash this last year. It's like, like culturally what's come to the surface is that this is something that black parents actually have to say to their kids. Yeah, oh, man. They have, to, they have to have the cop talk with their kids. The talk. The cop talk. Where, where, no, regardless of their of their tax bracket, regardless. Because yeah, if no, 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 no. A, if a cop ever has an encounter with Jesus. you because, as a, like, I don't care what you see on TV where a cop, I don't care what you believe about society, a parent has to sit on the foot of the bed of a kid and say, you need to fucking comply beyond all reasoning in, in your head of what's the fair. Shit, you gotta sit on the foot of your bed, foot of their bed and Putting talk to them your, about. Yeah. Your There's socks. so many things already. There's a whole list. Shoes. Can you imagine being that kid though? <laughs> like being the kid who's like, you know, it's like I've been growing up just as a normal person and it's like, oh, I gotta be afraid of the cops? Like as a small child, like it's gotta like just fuck with you. It's like these people that are supposed to protect me, you know. It's like they might hurt me. That's yeah. gotta like really kind of put you in kind of like a like a like a real stressful high anxiety because that's how I feel about cops is that they're probably gonna kill me and that's completely unfounded. Like because I'm just walking around, you know. But uh, it's just the idea that you'd have to think about that, like just from being a small child, is just so heartbreaking to me. Yeah. Yeah, and by the way, the LAPD, I, uh, in general, as far as I understand it, since the Rodney King thing, like and you'd notice, like I, I, I'm curious about the statistics, but because you don't hear the good news, especially when the good news is lack of brutality, I guess there's nothing to report there. But as, as far as I understand, the LAPD was taken over by the Department of Justice, is still like yeah. being babysat by a weird bureaucratic commission that's out of any satire you'd write about political correctness, but is functioning actually kind of okay, minus the odd guy getting shot in the eyeball. Um, that there isn't, you know, like, like that it's way more fucked up in a lot of other cities that we're discovering this entrenched, crazy, like, like you're lifting up rocks and there's just like worms crawling out. And you're like, holy crap. Like, the LAPD is like very, as, but but correct me if I'm wrong. You know, tweet me and, and you know and show me articles and things because I'm that I'm too lazy to read. But 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 that's my perception is the is the actually it's unreportably positive that we're kind of like we're not in the headlines. Yeah, for we're, the last we're such fifteen a new years, city. We're such an it, it's a very new city. Um, I love the movie L.A. Confidential because. Well, I don't know because it's fucking awesome, <laughs> but uh, but also it's like shows us this cross section of of the LAPD at that time, and it uh, it seems systemically like they just they were always cor- they were built on this corruption, and then yeah, recently like it, it's they it's I'm drunk, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little drunk. Is that thing, like, like right, right, around the time of the Rodney you know King thing? There was this Rampart <laughs> scandal. It was like they created this anti-gang task force in the, in the Rampart uh, neighborhood, of Los Angeles, because it was such heavy gang activity. And that that was a and, and, and it was just it was an eye opener because the Rampart anti-gang like squad became just another gang, and they literally would go, they would. I don't know if they would literally did drive-bys because they didn't have to. Drive-bys are a thing you do because there's cops. If you're a cop, 
you get out, you handcuff a guy, get him on his knees, and they were assassinating people. Like, like they were, they were like handcuffing them and then killing them because they were simply another gang that had a different outfit and a different kind of car, and and and, and had a different like 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 what kind, kind of, of car? Uh, uh, one with the <laughs> flashy lights. Yeah, what are Anyways. they rocking? Uh, but that shit all got you know, like the LAPD currently as far as I understand it exists in a kind of very, very modern open source bureaucratic yeah but like of, you like, said like it, 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 it's just having to grow from that origin you know yeah. like that they're, they're having to it's like a whole new thing hopefully I, I don't know anything about it who knows we're not the worst but it, you know we could do a lot better who's the worst the uh, Ohio. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck those guys. Fuck Ohio. It's Milwaukee. Um, uh, all right. Well, so, okay. Spencer, uh, uh, you want to quickly uh, do a two minute D&D game? All yeah. right. Okay. What are we playing what? these days? Oh, no, we I'm... can't play fantasy role playing games. Why? Not God for... damn it. Oh, Why? No. Why not? Contracts. Nope. Contracts. What? <laughs> I what happened? I don't even know if I believe this, to be honest. Did you read the contract? It was part of the negotiation, but it's oh. not. I believe for me. For what? Oh, what? Forget Nego- it. Fuck you, Harmon. Play it, man. What? Fuck the system. What? Fuck the man, Harmon. Are we gonna get shot? You are all. You are all standing in a <laughs> field full of uh, old timey maces and uh, 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 grindstones. Oh. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I look ar- around. Uh, uh, you see armor and 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 I treasure the, chests. I put on the armor. I put on yeah, all the armor. armor. You put on the armor and you have medieval What's powers. What's in my bag of holding? Uh, it's a, <laughs> your bag of holding contains a, 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 a wizard. I use and, that. Uh, you use the wizard. <laughs> The wizard makes a unicorn. Oh, <laughs> yeah! The, 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 I win. Atta- we, let's attack the unicorn. You, what? Let's attack the unicorn. We attack the unicorn. I, you you I, attack the unicorn. I stage dive the unicorn with my armor. Yeah. <laughs> Me what? and Strop go crazy on that unicorn. <laughs> Up what's top. Your, from what's the, your willpower? Cody. Nine. <laughs> All right, you attack the unicorn. The unicorn is like, whoa. Um, I, I was the I was supposed to be your friend and, and it oh, disappears. Shit. Oh boy, yeah. Yeah. we feel I, remorse. We feel a little bit I, of remorse. I, I roll to what's see how re- remorseful we are. Yeah. What's, what's my what, medical? Uh, what's your remorse? What's my? Uh, I'm at plus uh, eleven. You don't feel any remorse. Shit. <laughs> You feel sociopathic, like you feel like disconnected. I'm at like twenty sociopathic. I'm yeah. at twenty. Like you're in your mind, it's like you're playing a game, and the results don't matter. So you can just you can just do whatever you want. Spencer's crying, by the way. This is no. This is all this great. Is, this is oh great. no, Spen- I want to play. We can't play. <laughs> well, it's ten o'clock. Is the way we can't oh, play. Right. Spencer plays up this control. Guys, in thing. for a four-hour show. <laughs> No, what we should have done, it would have been great to have Spencer custom create a role-playing environment where we're in a submarine with your dad. Uh, and we'd do like a sub-drama. Like, it would have been amazing. I would have made Spencer yeah. watch Joss Boot and then like create like a <laughs> yeah, campaign awesome. where we all You should be, create your we, own yeah, role be, We should do a sub-genre. That'd that's be great. But hey, yeah. guess why this show is available every week? Because we don't have any time to do it. We don't do anything to yeah. do it. So fuck you. Uh, fuck you, Reddit. <laughs> I thought this episode, I miss Kumail. I thought this episode, let's face it, ever since the blah, 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 <laughs> shows hey, the blah, blah, blah. It's all to talk to you. It's pretty obvious that uh, the show was like, hey, well, hey, fuck you, man. I was rolling my fat ass out on a stage Kumail's every week. Kumail's great, though. Kumail's great. Kumail's great. Kumail's great. Yeah, he's great. Well, Where's that? Is Adam Goldberg here? <laughs> no. He, no? No, none of my friends are here. <laughs> Yeah, no, the show's really sliding. Yeah, it's like they're really, all they're, they're all over at Anatoly, Holmes. back in Russia. All right, well, his visa renewed. I guess we end with a with probably like a rap or. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's forced, but it's how you it's how you end the show. You know? Force it. Or do you want to? What do you want to do? Like the like the. Rihanna? I'll give you a subject. Uh, you fuck my mother. Okay. <laughs> 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 
Or can you do like the kind of Rihanna bridge, like I'll, 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 after I rap for a little bit, and then and then yeah, you'll yeah, kind of come sure. in with just like sort can. of a hook. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yo. 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 I. I. Yo. 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 East, west, north, south. Fuck your mama's eye. Fuck your mouth. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just, you gotta forget. I gotta his forget that they're are there. there. This is a the part of the show. Right. Yeah, yeah. Trees, sidewalk, ground, earth. Affect your mama until she gave birth. It's... <laughs> Baby came out. I married it. Took it to the chapels. Said shit. Now it's incest. We're doing it. I'm gonna be the best at doing it. I... Marriage. Yo. Yo, 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 sorry there. Yo. <laughs> yo. Yo, yo, I do. Till death do his part. Fuck, fucked your mama so hard, she laid a fart. She came out of her butt and I we went in the air. I, I, I said, oh, maybe I threw her down the stairs and said, uh, are you okay? Uh, are you okay? Uh, uh, just say something. Are you okay? And she, she just laid there He's for concerned a day. about the baby. <laughs> That's what marriage is. DC motherfucker got it my back. Yeah. Yo. It's Dan Harmon. Yo. Yeah. Yo. Chrome plated, nickel plated, clip, from the bullet casing, side casing, the hammer, trigger. Fuck you. Not gonna touch that. No. Words. Word, barrel, gun, oil. Yo. Mass shootings every week. Fuck your mama so hard that her eyebrows were on fleek. Uh, <laughs> A term. It's a common term. All right, that's 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 as that's much response as we're gonna get. Let's let's end the show on that. Holy shit! Cop trailer, Rob Schraub. Special guest, Rob Cordry. Spencer Crittenden, our game master. The Schraubs, Donna and David. The stars of tonight. Uh, Zach, the audio maniac, uh, back in the control room. Chris Baruff, uh, the director. Woo! Dustin Marshall, our producer, master of feral audio. Thank you, Meltdown. We'll see you next week, I'm assuming. Yeah. Good night, everybody. God bless you. Good night.
Hi, it's Dan Harmon. If you're like me, you're a big fan of Harmontown, the podcast, uh, and you wish that you didn't have to wait uh, so long for it to drop after we record it. But here's the thing. Jeff Spencer, take it. You do not have to wait. You can, you can not only hear it right after it happens, you can watch it, too, in delicious, deluxe, high-definition multicam on your browser or your mobile phone. We do edit some stuff out sometimes. Like, I'll say something so incredibly racist uh, that we will catch it right before it drops as a podcast. Uh, but or, you get to watch Dan right before the sedition hearing when he talks shit about Trump again. Right. Uh, sometimes and, we have really famous guests, but we just cut it out of the podcast entirely. Because it turns out they're pedophiles. Sometimes Spencer's never wearing a shirt <laughs> most of the time we put that in in post not to mention all the times you always hear people laughing at something that doesn't sound funny because someone is making a funny face or wearing a funny shirt yeah for five bucks you get to watch all that stuff we, you, you can see the weirdos sitting down like getting nervous on camera there's, there's like one camera that's just right up someone's nose and they're always picking their nose and stuff like that that's good as if that wasn't enough here's some political incentive um we will match your new subscription to the harmontown live feed uh up until april 15th the day of the big tax march, um, will match it with a donation to the ACLU, which stands for a clue, which is what you should get. And I know, I know, you're, I know that's triggering your thought of going. Doesn't the ACLU now have eight hundred million dollars? Because, uh, uh, but here's the thing: ACLU money is like toilet paper money; uh, it never expires. But if political encouragement weren't enough, some apolitical encouragement is: if you sign up, you get access to a year and a half of our back catalog of video episodes, including a tour in Australia and Harmon Country, as well as audio downloads on the night of the record. On just minutes after it airs. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many times have you been listening to Harmontown for free after Wednesday and thought, I would really want to know what that guy looks like or what she looks like, or I want to see exactly how uncomfortable the audience is when Adam Goldberg is on stage. Mm -hmm. Now, for $5 a month, you get to see it as well as hear it. You can almost taste the Harmontown. Go to harmontown.com slash live for your subscription to watch us as well as hear us. It really, really is a taste treat. <laughs> Dan gave me little 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 eyebrows. I like. I was like, "Holy shit!" That guy just hit the bullseye. <laughs> he has a taste treat.